Excellent impression. <laughs> Taspian is going to do his, uh, what's it called? The, the, the thing over here on the side? The gargoyle impression. The gargoyle impression. Do your gargoyle impression. <laughs> no one took a picture of that. I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> See Daisy. And yeah, everybody's gonna listen to the Zoltar. I have a Zoltar to hi Carl. I'm <laughs> now. Bye. Okay. See you back later. So do you are you gonna want to get a chair? No, I'm just gonna sit here. And I'm just gonna yell out stuff. Well, I'll be able to hear everything and I'll just uh, participate. I'm just going to be lazy today because I'm a guest. So I'll go in whatever room Susan's going in. Paula's going to be on my team uh -huh. the whole time. You don't have a round or anything, right? I do. You do. Oh, okay. Let me find it. We've been eating. I need to get a... We didn't do Thanksgiving. <laughs> paper and a pen to write on. You're just wandering around, just <laughs> random person. Look, there's some random person just walking through. <laughs> what is she looking at? All your pictures. Oh, there are pictures all over. Look at look at Carl. See, look at him. stupid. Why is your camera crooked? And you'll find, and you're actually in some of them. There, I don't know which ones now. Oh wow. Old. There's pictures everywhere. Aww. Where's Carl at? Do you see him? Did I take any of those trivia? pictures? You're in the trivia. No, no, they're mostly things I've taken. They're, you're in that trivia picture. No, I saw a picture of you right there, you and Kathy Smith. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you are. Yeah, that's true. You did take that one. I thought I recognized that one. Yeah. So, there's some that you might have taken, but mostly you're somebody needs to push here. Karen, push this down. I, I don't remember signing a release to allow you to print that hanging on your wall. <laughs> okay, scary. All right. So, so we down a little bit. The whole thing or right yeah. here? No, the top. The top. Say when. No, the whole, this thing right here. Oh, this thing. The height. The height. Yeah. The height is too Okay, high. here I go. I'll try. I'll try and do it gently. Okay, that's not gentle. Okay. <laughs> Sit down a little bit more. Okay. Say when. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. that? That's it. Let me see. Oh, uh, there. Yes. Tighten, tighten it. Tighten it. Say when. Okay, yes. that's good. That's good. Tighten it. It's tight. Oh, I want my tulips. Can you bring my tulips before you? Oh, she's looking at pictures. Okay. Where are they? Which, where? Are oh, hold they? on. I'll bring it back. I'm going to get my tulips. I'm looking for Carl on the pictures. I see Jay. That might be Carl. Oh, here. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Susan has gone to look for tulips. Okay. Tulips. Aww. Paula brought me tulips. Hey, oh, is, is that Carl right there with Jay? It's the back. That's strong. No, oh, that's, the back. Brian, that's Brian Hart. Oh, because it's back turned. There's Carl right there. Right Kathleen? there in the blue. Yeah, Kath left. He left his coffee thing. Oh, well, he'll be back tomorrow. There's yeah. Carl right oh, there. Right, 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 right up here. In the blue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There's Carl. Hi, Carolyn. Hello. Carol. Hi, Carl. Hello. Uh, is that Carl? Let me see. In that picture, I can't remember. No, that's great to ring. I see it was Randy. There's the one with Dawkins. I was just mm -hmm. about, telling Dawkins about that. Um, What's your kitty's name, Carl? Uh, this one is Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. My cat wants to play right now, of course. Oh. <laughs> Her sister is over there snoring in the other chair. Oh, okay. Yeah, my little guys. I have one right here, but you can't see him. And then the other one is in the bed in the corner. So, and then the third one is away. She's in the other room because she's the big kitty who's not happy with kittens right now. <laughs> what are their names, Carolyn? Probably so this is Jack in this one. and Ginger is in the in the bed and Candy is the eight year old. She's um, she's a tortie with the tortitude. So yeah, yeah. 
And so she's. Oh, uh, in fact, I have something. I think we're hoping the warm up to the kitten soon. She's still a little, yeah, hissy. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought I did. Never mind. I'm supposed to scan that. That's what I'm just saying. This is. This is like, do you have yeah. a picture of you set up? Do you want a picture of you? Oh, you're well, more than welcome to take a picture of me. Take. Oh. Jerry, how many kitties do you have? I just have the one who looks just like the cat you're holding. Oh, there it is. Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Jack. Yeah. Dreamy. Mine is Dreamy. And he is playing right now. Wow. So I'm glad he's having fun. He is. Whoa. Oh, Bob. What, what the hell? Bob. I. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, what the heck? It's a giant booger. It's got a nose and eyes. No, it's a kind of fish, isn't it? Is that Bob? It's a Bob. That's a man with no arms and no legs. It's floating <laughs> in the water. A Bob. It has a nose and a mouth. Yeah, I know it's a type of fish. I just don't know what kind. Besides, not it's the most. It's a very fresh. sad fish. It's a blob yeah. fish. Really. Yeah, yeah, it's called it. Yeah. I've so, never seen this one. So, you know, if you think I should turn my camera off, maybe you'll rethink that. <laughs> Look at this is so fun. And Paula's coming. Paula, you had to get cookies? Yeah. And hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Having a party? No, I don't want a cookie right now. I, I did way like to too much. We didn't have Thanksgiving today. We just had uh, Paula Paula drove up from LA. Oh. That's about five hours, yeah. and Karen lives down the street. So um, Paula Paula brought a ton of food last night, late last night. So she's so her and I. What did we do today? We ate. We, lay, we got real lazy and played games, and, and she oh, made a whole thing of pound of bacon. Oh. And, and then Caspian came over and we watched See, Galaxy we Quest. <laughs> we played Galaxy, we watched Galaxy Quest and then we played Scrabble. Yay. Scrabble. Game. And then Karen came over just right now. Galaxy Galaxy Quest trivia. I don't know what games. that is. Oh, Galaxy Quest? Yes. Oh. I have to look is it that up. That's the movie yeah. with um Tim Allen. Think. Thank you. Yes, yeah, it was it, so good. It's basically, <laughs> a, a, a parody yeah. homage of Star Trek and Star Trek fandom. Karen, what are you doing? Oh, okay. One of the greatest movies ever made. Really? Susan, yes. tell, tell them your theory about Galaxy Quest. I heard that Galaxy Quest was a was something before Star Trek, and it didn't go anywhere. No, but Caspian can't say it's true. What no. do you say about science? Oh, I got the movie wrong. <laughs> oh, I got no. the movie wrong. I was thinking of. It's something totally different. What is it? Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not Galaxy Quest. Oh, I saw very different. Galaxy Quest is a parody movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, get, Guardians of the Galaxy has something to do with Selena's? Yes, but we're not talking about that. I just got it wrong. Well, what is right, it? Guardians of the Galaxy? Movie. Guardians of the opening song. They put in the cassette tape and they start. Uh -huh. Dum, 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 Right? That's a Selena song? Yeah. Yes. That's Pat a good song. And Lolly from Selena's Redbone. Okay. Well, there you go. Lord, sing it, Karen. Why did you give us a close up of your eyeball? Ooh. Yeah. I was just You're looking around. In. I was just oh, looking around. Oh, looking around. See you in a bit. Okay, around. going home. Tell her goodbye. Let's see who else is in the room. Bye, Karen. See you soon. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. <laughs> Bye, Karen. You better be here by noon tomorrow. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'll look at my text to remind myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. she better be here. Love it. Oh, hey, we know where you live. We'll come down. <laughs> you can leave the door partly open so the cats can come in. Cool. Hey, you all. Oh, look at there's Ben. Hi, Ben. Hello. Hey, Ben. It's Miss Karen. Hello. Paul is here. She brought me tulips. How nice. So nice. Isn't that nice? And I'm, I'm out of camera range. She's sitting in the chair. She's sitting in the green comfy chair. Green comfy chair. I don't blame you. <laughs> we ate tons of food. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we did. So, Susan. Yes. If you like Galaxy Quest. Yes. It was a really good documentary on Amazon Prime called Never Surrender, a Galaxy Quest documentary. Oh, I saw that when 
I was looking on YouTube to see if I, I highly could... recommend it. What's it called? Never Surrender. It's called Never, Never Surrender, a Galaxy Quest documentary. Galaxy Quest was so good. Okay, I put it on my list. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, so that is not a view I'm used to seeing of on Bob's camera. There's no chickens. No, there's no that. chickens. Well, you know, it's Thanksgiving and maybe oh, oh, hiding. Better count those chickens. The chickens went into hiding. <laughs> maybe the chicken, maybe you used the chickens to make a turducken. No, I um yeah, you could take men. She would fit in a you can do oh, like a, a oh. small maybe Pop yeah. isn't at home where he usually is. Where are you at? No, I'm no, there's I'm my son is ba is house sitting for some friends. So he left on went he left on well this morning to go to, to go to work and then he went mm. to the friends yesterday morning, Wednesday morning. So he won't be back till Saturday. And and my wife is in Tennessee visiting with the grandkids. So I've I'm all alone. So there's no one to bother. I had a Zoom this morning and I went and got Max and Min and you know showed them and then I let them run around uh for a good chunk of the day. So I put them I put them back down a little while ago. Oh so they've been up here. Had to clean up after them. You just follow follow around them with a little pan underneath a little button. No, after they after they after I put them away, I just cleaned up. It's okay. Oh, it makes sense. It it vacuums up. It's no problem. It vacuums up. I thought it would be wet. No, well, it it's depends on what they're eating, but if they're mostly just eating the chicken food, then it's it dries out pretty quick. So the the rug needs shampooing anyway. So. Okay, that makes sense. I'm sharing this on Facebook again. Aaron, you're up first tonight. You know that, right? We can't. Yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. We can't hear you, Aaron. I sort of heard Aaron say yeah. something. But that's because I didn't change my volume. For some reason, my Zoom. Hold on. Yeah, because you're still pretty quiet, but we can hear you now. You're going to have to scream. No, can't hear you now. Aaron's not saying anything. Not surprising. There, heard that. Now it's Carl. better. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yes, Carl, there are. Carl, you're third. Yeah. Third. My my Zoom always resets to like minimum volume. I don't know why. Hmm. Sounds like a personal problem. But but at, but, at least, but at least now that I know it, I know to jump in as soon as somebody says, "I can't hear you." I'm gonna have to get some caffeine. I'm like already sleepy and it's only eight o'clock for me. What did you do for Thanksgiving, Ben? Did you go and eat? Yeah, I did. So you stuff for myself. Fine. Yeah. It's the it's the it's the trip to fan. It did was the tur it was Carl's? the turducken. Did you go to Carl's? <laughs> no. It's actually not true. It's the carbs. We were all gonna go to Carl's house. Carbs and the fat, yeah. I'll be right back. No, I was at my ex in-laws place with the kids i'm I'm still close with uh my ex's uh mom and dad that's so wonderful yeah we we all get along pretty well and i really like my uh my brother and sister-in-law they're good people so i mostly camped out in the in the basement and talked to my brother-in-law oh yeah well, that's good. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, I should so show you guys. I need to get uh, my phone. I left it somewhere. I need to get a picture because my uh, Jordan got to ha uh, got to visit with uh, their cousins, and um, uh, they had uh, Lydia sitting on their lap, like while they were at the table playing cards. So it was cute. Olivia. I think I should have a picture picture. Uh, Lydia is um, uh, my ex's sister's kid. Oh, oh, OK. Yeah. Yep. Adrian. So I'm going to go get my phone. I'll be right back. Hey. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Susan. Everybody else.
We are going to have so much food here tomorrow, Cindy. <laughs> okay. You better not. I, eat. I got the stomach for it. You I better not that. eat for a while. <laughs> Cindy's coming over tomorrow, so <laughs> don't eat for a while. Okay. So that when you get here tomorrow, you can just shovel it in. Okay. And we're adding people too. Oh. So, Why is it like Bob's drinking applesauce? <laughs> You're muted, Bob. We can't hear what you're saying. Bye, Karen. I ate the applesauce. Okay. And then I made lemonade in there. Oh, okay, cool. So, so it's, it, it's lemonade it's... with a, a little bit of applesauce in it. Ah, so then, okay. Adrian's at my house. I'm not wasting the applesauce. She has the, the free she doesn't <laughs> no, have. No it's judgment. Crazy. No judgment, Ben. If he wants to drink his applesauce, hey, even applesauce. if he was no, drinking applesauce, that would be totally fine too. I just so I wasn't I, I, I wasn't totally incorrect. There was uh, no, see the the jar there was has an applesauce all these bumps. There. The jar. Am I muted again? The jar no. has all these bumps and ridges and grooves, so you can't get it all out. It's a waste. Yep. So I'm, I'm gonna rinse it out and, with lemonade and drink it. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm all alone. I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's at my house too. My house keeps changing. This is weird. It'll all be at different iterations of your house. What is that right there? What is that? Oh, it's your chair. Okay, you're covering. Yeah. I, I saw Adrian's picture when she first came in. Was everybody at the Muppet Show last week? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, we all were. Well, a lot of them were at the Muppet Show last yeah. week. Yeah. Well, and they I, saw, I saw the overall picture on on Facebook, and it was like. Oh, I missed the Muppet Show. <laughs> there was no Someone, reason for it either. They just, oh, there were. Uh, I think Kevin said, let's use the Muppet background. And then it started spreading. <laughs> I don't think there was a reason for it. So, some oh, background, I, some of the backgrounds are contagious on here. Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> I don't usually change mine because I don't like that way it, you blend in or out. I think it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I know. So Karen, uh, so Karen, Paula. That's the third person you've called me instead of Paula. Well, so how is how are you going to do this today, Paula? I'm just going to be your sidekick. Paula's going to be my sidekick. Okay. So Thanks. whatever no. team I'm on. Yeah. On. Did Did you kick Karen out? Is Karen going back to her house? Yeah. Well, I just heard her she's by to Mark. She's uh like just down the street, right? She lives at the other end of the block. We're we're you know a block of. And oh. Caspian left. Caspian okay. went home because he lives in Monterey, which is about 30 minutes away. And Karen is about a. Does she walk or does she drive? Karen? Oh, it's like maybe a two minute walk. She oh, cool. Lives, how far does she live? One, two, three, four, five, six. She's across the street. I live in LA. I don't know about, about seven houses away. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's the other end of the, it's the other. I'm on one end of the block. She's on the other end of the block, and the block is not that long. And we're a very quiet street. There's cars hardly ever go down here or anything. It's really nice where we live. Very quiet and calm. Carl, you're missing some pieces. Yes. Oh. Just <laughs> it's probably not the first time he's heard that. Probably. Not. <laughs> and Aaron, I like your backwards pie background. Is oh, it yeah, backwards? backwards? Yeah, it's backwards. backwards. <laughs> I have I have my screen mirrored and it looks backwards when I don't flip it. So I flipped it. So you all don't <laughs> see my you don't see my mirrored. I see everything mirrored. So yeah, correct. The mirroring is only for you for I, the user to help with. You're you know, the yeah. first people to point that out. So yep. I'm going to go fix that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got my forward pie earrings on, but. <laughs> I mean, it is better that way since it is uh, Turkey Day that it, yeah, it says pie. pie. Oh, I get it. Oh, you guys are so funny. Yeah, remember we <laughs> shared that. Uh, I shared that uh, picture where someone, did, you know, said that that's that's uh, why it's pie because spelled backwards or written backwards. It's, right. it's, pie. it's, it's pie. P I E. There you go, Aaron. That's it. That's good. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, I'll, have to, yeah. I'll have that's to look better. at it backwards all night, but that's fine. <laughs> when, when Aaron joined the call, Aaron got right up to the thing and was had your eyeball like she was I, doing, looking. I was like, looking, I was looking at all the other rooms, all the <laughs> other creepy. Are we ready to start? No, I guess not. It's not even 620.
Where is everybody? I, I usually come they're, late, they're, so. They're all having Thanksgiving dinner somewhere. There, there you go. Yeah, see, P -I -E. There you go. <laughs> Bye. Wait, wait, hold on. I'll close my camera. Right. P -I -E. There you go. P-I-E. That's awesome. Yeah. Ben, yeah. I like it. it. That's it. Right. You need to do that, Adrian, when you're teaching math. <laughs> you can make I mean, sure you remember that when you're when you're um talking about pie you can that's say right. in case you ever forget pie <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i think it's very clever okay i'm, so I'm so excited it doesn't have to do with turkeys but it has to do with birds how's it got something to do with birds do you recognize it it's it's no it's from the birds a mission no, oh, that's from the from birds. the movie, the birds. From the movie, yes. Yeah, cool. really? Apparently, somebody's has just put closed captioning on. A participant. I don't know. Okay. So, turn it off. It's annoying. So who's what's nobody, her face? I don't see it. That's Paul. If nobody needs it. Oh, Paul. What's her face? <laughs> that's funny. I like it. You're just gonna go in rooms with me, like like I'll go into a room and you'll just go to the room with me. Yeah, because you're going to be on the Zoom, and you, but you're not muted, so you're not getting it. You just got your volume all the way down. Well, let me do Wi-Fi or no. Oh, see, I'm off again. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Good morning. Tell us how Thanksgiving is. Oh, it's, you know. it's fantastic here. We went out. Yeah, we went out yesterday. Well, it's actually last night, yesterday. Um, great. We had it was a, a re restaurant on the beach had a big um, Thanksgiving celebration. We had a dozen friends, big celebration. The food was excellent, but it's, it's nice. It's about 85 degrees here on the beach. And wow. so to have Thanksgiving on the beach is pretty nice. Okay. It's gorgeous here right now, too. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, um, what is it? My dog is whining at all you people <laughs> who are talking about warm temperatures. Actually, it's not bad here. It's about it's five degrees Celsius, which is above freezing. So in the 40s for you guys, I guess. It looks beautiful and sunny. Adrian, look at your window. It's, it's been a rainy Thanksgiving for us here in the Midwest. Mm. It rained yeah. most of the day, but it is 50 degrees. So the temperature is nice. It's 56 here right now. Yeah, it's right at 50 in here yeah. in Collinsville. We're 43. We got 43, no rain. Hmm. I was going to say, we're we're low 40s at this point, but it's 9 o'clock at night, also 9.30 at night also, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, we're ready? Oh, here comes Rob, Mr. Paul. I was going to say, how many people do we normally get on uh, Thanksgiving? I think we've had about 20. Oh, okay. Hey, let's see. I could, I could actually. I mean, it's it. only eight twenty. How early are we starting? We normally don't start this early, right? Well, with the group of when there's thirty people, we have a lot more chatter before. Yeah, we that's get true. <laughs> okay, Thanksgiving twenty twenty, we had twenty seven people. Oh, Ooh, that's uh, pretty good. Because nobody was going anywhere then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Twenty twenty, we good all had good point, time. Carl. Good point. And then yeah. we had in 2021, 24. So not bad. Dang it. I think last week we had the most we've had in ages, which was I think 33. We had a lot of people last week. Yeah, yeah. we had a lot of people last week. Why, but we did. I'm not complaining. Mono showed up. That's why. Yep. They haven't seen their text message yet. How dare you? Hey, so so Ben, I see your background. I assume you've seen the final episode of and of Andor. Correct. I hope, I hope it's not the final episode. Well, the well for the six. for the season, season yeah. Finale. They're they're getting ready to start did production you, on season did two. Did you keep it on to see the post credit scene? Yes. Why is that important? Aaron, I gave, him, I gave him a heads up to make sure he did. I didn't think it was that significant. I mean, we kind of all knew we that. We kind of knew it was coming, but it was still it was a nice to see. It, was, it yes. was fun to see. It was fun to see. No, yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't know it was coming. I mean, I didn't read it. I don't know where. How did you know that was coming? Well, well, well the I'm, whole time I mean, they were. Can we talk freely, or are people going to watch this show? Well, they were making something <laughs> in a factory. That's all you have to say. I, I, I right, pretty right. much was. The minute they were showing them in the prison making that stuff, I go, "It's got to be for you know what." 
Well, yeah. okay, I didn't and, put that and, together. And the, and the other side to that is, where is, and where, where is he going from here? We all know where he ends up. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Well, yeah, I read an article that said they kind of did it backwards. They shouldn't mm-hmm. have had the ending being uh, him and Pretty is it general. Lutheran in the yeah. ship? Because it's like, you oh, know yeah. where it's going to be because we've all seen Rogue yeah. One. Well, it's very weird. This is it. I don't know if they've ever done a prequel to a prequel before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they should have. They should have ended it with the the other guys uh, in the ship. So you know, yeah. Were, not to say that they wow. couldn't have had that scene. They should have just flip flopped them, yeah. and not that had not that be the ending because we all know that it's not going to happen. I don't understand what's know, going right? on with the politician part because, like, I don't know how it connects. <laughs> Well, do you know who Mon, do, you know who, do you know who Mon Mothma is? Yeah, I mean, she didn't have a big part in any of the originals. I mean, she was, you know. No, she was. I mean, she was the head of the rebellion. Basically, I didn't yeah. even get that. Okay, but I mean, in in the original Star Wars movie, she was the head of the rebellion. You just didn't really see her much in. Did she not appear until she was? She was in. She was in a New Hope, and she was in a New Hope. When, when they were, well. she was definitely when they were, building, when they were building the. I'm cruiser, not sure about the New Hope. She was definitely in Jedi. Yeah, she was. She was the one who told everybody that we've got these plans that we know how to, you know, in in the room where they were setting together the crew who was going to go right. out. Yes. For yes. Death yes. Star, she was making that announcement. Yeah. Right. She but was the was one who said people. many many Bothans died to bring us this yes. information. Yes, and that was about the only thing she had in that movie, but. Yeah, it's kind of significant to know that many Bothans died. Well, the Bothans, that was Jedi. That was Jedi, you're right. A lot of people get that mixed up. Yeah. Because the Bothans didn't give the, the, didn't give the information about the Death Star plans for Death Star 1. They did it for Death Star 2. You're right. So, so now are they going to do a prequel prequel for like all the other characters who were in Rogue One who died? There you go. (laughs) They might do that. You never know. The the guy who played um, who, who played the character uh, Cal um, he he was saying when he was hired for Rogue One they they told him right away that you know it's one and done this is how the right. movie's going to end and you, know, you you don't have a future part and he right. was you know, happy to play the part and then a, they, you know you have a past part <laughs> and then they came part. then they came back and said we want to do your history right right. Well. Yeah, if, if if you watch Rogue One right after you watch season of Andor, you go, Oh, I do have to pretend like I don't notice how noticeably younger everyone is right, exactly. in Rogue yeah. One than they are in Andor. Yes. Because yeah. yeah, because they got the same guy who of course for Cassian, but as well as it's the same Mon actress Mothma. for Mon Mothma. But they well, definitely also are noticeably younger in Rogue also, One. Also, Carl, did you notice? Because they've talked about it too, is one of his I agree, Kevin. one of his prison buddies. <laughs> One of his prison buddies is the same actor who is on one of the strike teams from Rogue One as well. And the, the only one that you don't have a noticeable difference in age was uh, Saw Gerrera. Yes. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. They de-aged I, him. I also saw somebody posted, and I hadn't thought about it before that, but the prison uniforms, the orange and white uniform, is the colors used for the rebel forces. Mm, mm, that's interesting. Yeah, it is a good thing. I like that there was hey, a lot hey, of. Susan, hey, Susan, stay off the chat. <laughs> there, there was a lot of. Uh, what was it? Were they. How many sides? Hexagons? What's the Imperial logo? Is it a hexagon or an octagon? I can remember. I'd have to see the image. I, I can't ever. But they, there was a lot of those shapes yep. in, in Andor. Yep. So someone someone pointed out that this might be the first time one of the the baddies was a female. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a uh, it's six sided. Okay, I guess. Well, yeah. well, there goes my category, Donnie. <laughs> you guys just triggered all the answers. <laughs> well, I mean, Aaron, man, I hope I'm not doing pie again. Like you just ruined <laughs> the freaking off. <laughs> You you were not here the week I did that, were you? No. That was the bonus category. You just get what one, point, one, what, what one point for each digit. <laughs> um, don't don't worry, I've got it all under control, Rob. I have pie too. See, I, I have pie. Oh. Uh-huh. And I'm I and I'm pie. glad 
And I'm glad you made it, Rob, because I, you know, as you know, I asked, I was checking to see if you're going to make it because I was going to ask you to review my questions to see if they made some sense, but you indicated you might be here. So I didn't ask, didn't show them to you. So did someone review them? Uh, nobody to review them. Uh -oh. I actually passed them to three. I actually, in trouble. Them, I actually passed them to three different people and nobody gave me any answers. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. We'll find out. I bet you. I bet you broke all the rules. You have like multi-point answers, answers that require three answers. There was oh, a, lot of, there's a lot of every answers. question. The options are true, really true, false, or very. False. <laughs> <laughs> every question. Every question requires three answers to it. Yeah, and, and you, have, you have three, three bonus, three bonus questions. Three. There's yeah. thirteen <laughs> questions, not ten. I know everything is about Punch and Judy on a lighthouse. Oh, so, all, oh you guys have stopped talking about that in the show now. Okay. Yeah. So, Susan, was that was that your first viewing of Galaxy Quest? No, no, I've seen it three Okay, times. I was going to say but it was I Mark's first time seeing Galaxy Quest. Oh, uh, he loved it. Such a He's, good movie. He really liked. He, he said it was fun. Entertaining. He said it was fun. And Caspian was here, and <laughs> Paul and I, and we've all seen it except. Okay, so who's new? Oh, hi, Gail. Gail's here. Hi. Who's good categories tonight? tonight. You know that, right? I hope it's not me. Yeah, she's got a. You have uh, you have all the categories tonight, Kevin. Didn't you remember? Okay, <laughs> but Kevin, give me a minute. Yeah, we'll do it. No problem. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh, don't worry, darling. I went and spoiled it by looking at reading the spoilers. I found. I went to a website and said, "What are the spoilers for that movie?" You're not going to spoil. <laughs> and what I spoiled which, it. Don't movie? worry, darling. Well, what actually, movie? it's, 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 it's kind of easy. What movie? To figure out how it was going to go when he, from the beginning, because it was kind of anachronist. Um, I can't pronounce that word right, but it was like in the sixties. But there was just something wrong about that time period. You just tried to figure out what the movie, how the movie was going to play out. What movie? What are we talking about? Don't, Don't worry, darling. darling. Don't worry, that's, darling. That's a, that's a movie name. I'm not yes. worried, but what movie are we talking yeah, about? I'm I'm sure yeah, 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 it's called movie. Don't Worry, Darling. I don't, yeah. Okay, yeah. but what's the name of the movie? <laughs> don't worry, darling. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. The wonder was that. Oh, Kevin, you gotta play this out like the who? Yeah. 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 So I, I, I didn't, didn't want to didn't watch it. To like it. I heard it was so. St I I had. I don't have any interest in that, and I don't really care at all for Olivia uh, Wilde. So yeah, I, I don't know, know that is. Star Wars stuff is kind of weird too. Hi, Janine. It is. <laughs> I don't know. I, um, I don't know who the people. I, I just finally got into the. Uh, they've been out for like I don't know, at least five years more than that. The Lego Star Wars thing because I have Disney Plus and they're all on there, so I watched like three of them. Weird Al freaking did a unique song in one of them. And it's like that's I, awesome. I recognize that guy singing. Is that weird? No, it can't be Weird Al. And yes, it was Weird Al. Caspian, hi. Did you start the? Did you put the pies in the oven? I walked in the door five minutes ago. Are the yeah, come the on, oven? give them time. Did you start the oven? The oven's not even on. Well, get it started. Come on, hurry up. Rob, you know that I don't have to be there until two o'clock tomorrow. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve o'clock tomorrow. You're having you're having a uh, you gotta Friday leave your house by eleven thirty. Yeah. He's working on Central Time, Susan. Tomorrow is tomorrow is our Thanksgiving. Okay. You guys have time to get here if you want. I have converted entirely to star dates. <laughs> nice. Cass was here. We played Scrabble and some other game. I made cookies and watched Galaxy Quest. Oh, Karen's here. Hello, Karen. She's running wild. She's like Bob. Nobody's home but her. She's, she's, she's back at her house. Yeah. Be glad I've got clothes on. <laughs> yeah, we are too. That's what I'm, want, saying. I'm already losing the Netflix deal by listening, having a listening to the conversation. Oh, it's 6 30. I get to make teams. 6 30. All right. <laughs> so early. So who am I gonna make my <laughs> let's see. Would it make sense to have it as Paula? Because you're you're gonna be going from room to room with us. What would it make sense for you to be the, the person who does I'm the... just on my phone? I'm oh, so no, no, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Okay, I'll make Terry. That's good. Terry's in charge now. All right, Terry's in charge of everything else. She handles that. 
and we're going to put first up is Aaron. All right, you guys got your team names? Go. We haven't we haven't gone to the teams yet. Yeah, we have teams I, yet. <laughs> fine. Here comes Vincent. You Canadians should be on time because this is not a holiday for you all. <laughs> Right? right, this ain't nothing Thanksgiving. for you. It's just another Thursday night for you. <laughs> no They've already had their Thanksgiving. Well, I live near the Mayflower, so I get a break. Yeah. And, yeah. and <laughs> even if they got food poisoning or something, they'd be recovered by now. So. Rob, you no, know you good. have a you know you have a an event uh thing tonight, right? I have an event. What? You have a round. H okay. Hence my hence my background. Yeah, books. <laughs> I like that. The answers are in those books. Okay, so Aaron's up first. So Aaron needs to be into room one. Okay. Uh, Gail, you're up too. So you be hey. in your category tonight? No, hi, Vincent. Hi. No, you don't. Vincent. Uh, Carl's I, three. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Who is Vincent, Vincent? Happy Thanksgiving. You should do a category on Watergate. Vincent. Yeah. Watergate. Oh, Carl. Yeah, all the recording. Where's Carl? Oh, yes. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're already in room three. Okay. And then Robert? Yes. You're four. I should change my background. And oh, Robin says four, she'll. Fourth? Robin told me she's planning on being here to do her category. Is she bonus? Yeah, but if not, then uh, Adrian says she's got a bonus. If she, oh, if, I have if a she good, makes I have a long. good bonus. I got bonus coming out of my ears. <laughs> Gross. Uh, TMI, TMI. I got. Let's see. TMI. Oh, yeah. um, <clears throat> sure. Okay, I've got lots of them now. TMIs. No dad jokes, like a lot. Ooh. I what found them on Twitter. I have at least four bonuses sitting around. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let you, go. I'm gonna let you guys go bonuses. play in your rooms. So I'm going to bring you back early. And if you don't, um, and the teams will be lean. We'll have a few people show up, but we'll see. So go okay. play, play. Be nice. Play nice.
We've been muted. How dare she? <laughs> oh, <sighs> recording is in progress. Darn the holidays what? and your body still thinking it's work time. I think I woke up at like 640 this morning. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm usually up at 630 anyways. Being that I'm diabetic, I kind of have to take my medications at the mm. same time. Right. Every day for the rest of my natural life. Right. However so you, long that will be. Do you take medicine and then go back to sleep ever sometimes? No, I can't go back to sleep. Yeah, it's really tough for me to fall back to sleep once I've woken up. Yeah. Ooh. Or are you diabetic too? No. Or you're just... I just have trouble getting back to sleep once I've been woken up. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Yep. Okay. Let's see what names we have tonight. I'm curious. Paula and I are talking about what we think you're going to come up with for names related. That was like the fastest you've ever done that. I know. We're going to have a faster kind of thing. We have a... Uh, How many? Have I say? Seven? Nineteen? Before Seven. everyone gets sleepy. Was yeah, but that doesn't make that happen any faster. Okay, so we've got Ben, Caspian, Aaron, and Kevin. Uh, check your cats before you fly. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> oh, so she knows the reference. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't read the article, but I saw that. How far did the cat fly? Didn't. TSA was scanning the luggage, <laughs> spotted the cat in the luggage. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Contacted the owner of the luggage who said, I had no idea my cat got in my luggage. Wow. Yeah, well, that was wow. a good thing. Can you imagine having that cat in that luggage? For oh, a long that's crazy. Because we've all seen pictures of cats laying in luggage. Yeah. And this time they, they missed the cat and it actually <sighs> almost flew somewhere. Paula's got a picture of one of my cats urinating on her luggage. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't have a picture. It's just vivid in her memory because it happened. Yeah. Hamilton. Hamilton. Hamilton he, she came over to visit and he went, there. Adrian, Gail, Janine. We are too full to eat pie. Oh, that's cute. And it's PI. Oh, but you've used a capital I, so that means like private investigator. <laughs> PI <Okay>. small. <laughs> Whatever you'd like. <laughs> oh, that's cute. But we decided that we were, in fact, too full to eat those pies. are just sitting and waiting for us after this is over. Oh, yeah. Here's Wendy. Okay. So. Okay. Gail and I have just finished dinner and we have pies sitting in our kitchen waiting for us. You had but, a pie each. I saw that Facebook post. You had two pies and there's only I you know. Two. There's Susan, two of us. We Susan, need to get our own. Susan, if you're yeah. adding new people, just so you realize Carolyn always leaves early and we only have three people right now. Okay, so I guess you get Wendy. Okay, so that makes sense. All right. So Jamie, no, Carl, Vincent. We are, let me bring up the chat, sorry. Uh, oh. uh, that's what we are. Oh, I get I it. Like and 11 it. makes sense because- it's, I like it. Uh, it's, a, it's a reference to- um, no, it also, well, it's a reference to bankruptcy. It's also a reference to Final Tap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Final Tap. That goes up to 11. It goes up, yeah. to, but that one goes up to 11. No, I just yeah. thought it was a reference to he doesn't know how to count. So <laughs> that could be too. <laughs> so but Karen, how could that be? He's because he has, all the, he has all the best numbers. <laughs> Carolyn, Cindy, Rob, and uh, Wendy, as soon as she shoots, gets here. I'm having trouble. That's right, but you're on a team already. Okay, good. Thank you. We don't have a name because we chose not to partake. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you not get that one? Do you is, that not another, get is that another one with uh, Trump? That, that's another Trump thing. Too? Yeah. How am I? I'm, I'm actually supposed to be a little more savvy on the social stuff yeah. than I yeah. thought. Okay. You just can ignore anything that happens in prosecution wise because he's not going to partake in it. Well, they'll just. Mm -hmm. He'll just ignore the fact that he's in a prison cell, I hope, wearing a yellow orange jumpsuit. I guess he won't hire a lawyer to defend them either if he's not going to partake. So that's Ooh, good. That's true. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Bob, Karen, Terry. 
three tired turkeys uh -huh. for a pardon. <laughs> Uh, they already got two. That's all. That's all. Got a pardon. Sorry. Here. Oh, that's late. good. Paula. Paula and I were sitting reading. I was reading the Washington Post this morning, and Paula was trying to ignore me, and um, for breakfast, and um, they had ten turkey songs, and and one of them was calling the one eight hundred butter, butterball, butterball, butterball something, butterball. Yeah, and then another one was was there was a play. I hope it's doesn't run anybody's category. Somebody they said that. You know, the people who made cats, they decided that they would do a play that was turkey related. And so what they did is they put it on a 360 degree rotisserie stage and they had turkeys and, and it was like, oh, they were all miserable about one. the last turkey was like, why did you pardon me? It's a musical. You know, why did you pardon me, Mr. President? Why will I be able to gobble when my friends are being gobbled? Oh, the moral of the story is all the songs stank. Yeah, they were awful. Anyway. I, I love the picture of Trump uh, photoshopped into a turkey costume so he could get his pardon. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's it's, nasty. Did you okay. guys see that? That was funny. No. Oh. All right, here it's we go. Gonna... What, Bob? I was going to say it's not going to top the musical number in Adam's Family too, where all the kids were dressed as. Eat food and Pugsley was the turkey, me. and there we go. Eat me. Oh. <laughs> I that, 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 yep. no good, no good. Okay, so here we are. Our team. Do, do I have um whatever they call it controls? Yeah, you're first. You're gonna have them, but first I gotta read off the names. Okay, I I didn't know if I had them already or not. I was trying to figure. Erin, the... I am I'm good at this. Yes, but I'm, but I'm not, so I didn't know if I wasn't seeing something I should be seeing already. I'm fine. The, you have the, permission. The position is officially known as the mutator. No, no, Terry. <laughs> no, that's, that's Terry. Terry. Oh, oh you know, okay. I like that. I like that. The mutator. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the mutator. We've got a mutator now. All right, Terry. I was calling him a troll blocker, but nobody ever trolls us. Damn it. Yeah. I'm going to get a troll in here so we can block him. All right. So tonight on our third turkey day for americans that is and even people in who are americans that are not in america right now <laughs> jamie i'd like to welcome you to our third annual turkey gobble fest on <laughs> turkey trivia trivia turkey turkey trivia <laughs> so thank you guys for showing up i appreciate it it's it's fun it's fun tryptophan fan. Trip mark goes <laughs> You're not playing trivia tonight. People aren't going to show up. I said, yeah, of course they will. We've done it for three years. So we have a few more people who probably join us in a little bit. And we are really all thankful. Sure. We are thankful for social trivia with Susan. Yes. Well, I'm thankful you guys showed up. That's a good, that's very good. Time. So we're actually having Thanksgiving tomorrow because as Paula reminded me, if I have Thanksgiving on a day that is not the actual thanksgiving day then nobody has an excuse to not show up so well people who are local who can get here so i have i have 11 people i think tomorrow oh. we'll see this should be interesting Cass, is the pies on did you turn on the oven already <laughs> pies, pies on no pies on. italian colloquial I don't hear the sound of the oven. I, I'm, I'm a little worried. Okay. Uh, there was an accident. He tripped on the way to the oven. All the pies are on the floor. If I leave <laughs> trivia at, suddenly at any point, it's because I got fed up and put the computer in the oven. Oh, no. <laughs> so the team names tonight on our third Thanksgiving of uh, social trivia, check your cats before you fly versus to eat, too full to eat pie versus all of Trump's books start at chapter 11. <laughs> versus, we don't have a name because we chose not to partake. Versus, three tired turkeys hoping for a pardon. This should be really interesting. Okay, so I'm ready for this. Aaron's first up. And we're going to have Aaron, then Gail, then Carl, then Rob, then... Is it Karen? No, oh, she's on five. Oh, Robin will Robin. be five. Yeah, Robin will be here on five, supposedly. So, and then Paula's here, but she's sitting in a chair, trying to stay awake. 
Yes. She's trying not to fall asleep. She's sitting right there and she's going to follow me from room to room. So whatever room I'm in, you will have the benefit of not only my wisdom, <laughs> my brilliant wisdom. Uh, I, I won two games of this game today that Cass brought over out of the three games you played. I just want you to know that. <laughs> if, if she just distracts you, that would help. Well, that, that might help. Um, we played Scrabble, but Cass almost got double our score. So don't ask me to spell anything. Quasar, come on. Quasar. Wow. Double okay. our score. Double, triple. Or, anyway, wow. so we're gonna we're gonna we're getting ready to start. So that's how it's gonna go. So So Aaron, Paula's not Paula's not on a team either? No, she's gonna play on the team. She's just gonna go from room to room okay. with me. And so she'll try and offset the drag that Susan presented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I can't believe you said that. that was <laughs> Big job, dude. Are you guys want to be muted? Want to be muted? You know, we're going to wait and see what Aaron says. Okay. okay. So that we can groan or maybe be okay with it. Or okay. Know. We're going we're gonna to start with the category name is what's my number? And I was thinking about doing things like giving you a set of digits and you pick that number of pi. Like, give me the 75th digit of pi. <laughs> Oh my but, then, but, then, but then I changed my mind. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to give you a number that's related to a TV show or a movie, and you tell me the name of the TV show or movie that it relates to. Oh, so I get it. You give us something impossible as a tease in a way, and then whatever whatever you come up with after that is like, Oh God! Thank you. Thank it's, you for not it's, doing that. It's like when when my when my spouse was trying to get chickens at the house, and I said no, and somebody said you should have started with horses and worked your way down. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, once you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Uh, this this, this um, works. Okay. Okay, and Spock. You can, Terry you can, only has one job, so let, Terry, let Terry, Terry go. Don't forget to mute you, unmute yourself, Aaron. Thank you, Terry. Boy, that was scary. She didn't even count down or anything. Yeah, I didn't hear a countdown. Boy, that's she was she was on the clock. She you have to unmute, Aaron. Okay, I I have unmuted. Okay, very good. Okay, now I'm gonna shut up for a moment. First, first one, number one. The number is one seven zero one. Oh, I get what we're going to um, do. Okay, I got it. I got number it. two. Two, three, one, nine. Number three actually has two numbers. I'm not sitting down. Wait. Eight, six, and nine, nine. Number four, one one zero five one nine five five. Number five, five. Number six, if I can get it copied right. Two four six zero one. Number seven. Oops, missed the copy. Number seven is zero seven seven zero zero nine zero zero four six one. Is there supposed to be a space between them? Yes, there is. Nice. Good, good luck. Good luck on that one. Number eight. One, two, three, four, five. Number nine. Nine, zero, <clears throat> two, one, zero. And number 10. Four, 
four five six one two three seven eight nine. And yes, those spaces belong there as well. This is very clever. Very Good clever. Night. Very clever. Okay, so Terry or Aaron, do you want to send us to your rooms? I think the send to your rooms came up already. Oh, I was just copying something. All right, so Paula and I are going to go to room one. Oh, I got to put Wendy in her room first. I'll be right there. Wendy, Terry Wendy. invited me to room two, so you'll have to invite me to room one. Okay. Wendy's going to go. I just don't even have to be there. I'll, I'll be able to hear everything. Well, I can make you a um, um, thing too. Imogen just jumped on me. I see in room two, what's her face is not joined. Who's yeah, that's Paula. Okay. Because she's not going to go. Okay, so I'm going to go to room room. Have fun. I'm, I'm going to go there also to start with. Okay. Well, Susan said she was happy, so she might know some of these. Paula's, uh, Paula's going to be here right now. Okay, she five could be Babylon 5, but not Didn't positive on that. Which one are you, which one is you saying Babylon Well, we don't know what 2319 is, going back to number two. What's seven, oh, 1701 is the, the Enterprise. Yeah, it's the registry number of the right. ship. And get smart, that was obvious. Yeah. Yeah, or 11051955. And one, two, three, four, five should be space balls because that's a combination to the luggage. <laughs> God. Oh, you know what? So long. You know what? You know what Aaron's missing is one, two, three, Five. What? One, two, three, five. Oh. Uh, you're missing that one. That would have been a really shame. Good one. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. A pause, then five. Four, sir. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming. So what's that from? One oh, isn't the actual TV show just called nine oh two one oh, or is oh, it Beverly Hills nine oh two one oh? Okay, well that's why I put that just to be safe. I put Beverly Hills nine oh two one oh, and then I put TV show. It's from Monty Python. Oh, okay. The, the so do we think five is Babylon five, or are we talking Hawaii five oh? It could be. Hmm. I just figured no, some I, of these other ones have be, kind of a science fiction five, lean towards them. Because, because five is actually in the, I mean, in, there's also the in the title. Element. But that's fifth. That's got a five in it. Well, say that again. I didn't hear you. I said there was also Babylon five. I mean, uh, the fifth element. That's true. Five is just so many things five could apply. I know. That's a tough one. So that's kind of like. Oh. We have plenty of things that, that have to do with five. We're just going to have to guess one of them and hope we got the right one. My computer is yeah. going to shut down in a couple of minutes. I'll be back okay. when it does. The first the first one that came to my mind was Babylon 5, just because it's just the number five. I would like the that number to five. Be the answer, because I like Babylon 5. I, love I Babylon was waiting five. for 905, but there's no nine. There, are there any addresses here other than like zip code? Yeah, that's oh. what I'm trying to figure out what some of these it other ones be are. A zip code. Yeah. Um, yep, six could be a zip code. I have no idea why there's can't a, be a phone space. Number. No. How about the Terminator? Is that like... Oh, that one's easy. Ten is easy. Star Wars? Why? Yeah, it's the order that the movies were made. Uh, That's a good one, Ben. Thank you. Oh, damn. I just looked at it because when you said, oh, that can't be a phone number, then I looked at the numbers in the, the particular order, and I'm like, why is four, five, six first? I'm like, oh, duh, it's Star Wars. Oh, that uh -huh. is really clever. Boy. Yep. She said, good luck on that one. Ooh, Ben. No, I think that was on seven. four. Four or oh, seven, seven, yeah. It, was oh, on, it wasn't okay, on ten, I don't four think. four right now. Uh, seven, yeah, we need two twenty three nineteen. Oh. Can you see the screen of what they're putting down? What was um, what was the address of um? No. I'm seeing who's talking. Sherlock oh, Holmes like, address. Oh, that's twenty one B. Two twenty one B Baker Street. Okay. 
but it, like it could be what's the like uh the monster's address you know there's no, that's 1313 that's 1313 mockingbird um what year does babylon 5 take place in I don't know. 2319. Is that part of the opening? That number does remember. sound familiar. But then if we're moving Babylon 5 to number two. Then that would mean we could put Hawaii 50. Uh, I don't think it's going to be Hawaii 50 because it's missing the zero. But well, and if you look, there are now one, two, potentially two, three, four answers that are all science fiction related. Yeah. So I think Aaron's a sci-fi buff. So not to say that it isn't Hawaii Five O, because that could have been one of their favorite shows when they were, you know, younger. I don't know. Da, 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 I don't want to steer da, da, anybody the wrong da. wrong way. Okay, let's just the that. first thing that came to my mind was Babylon Five. Not to say that's the right answer, but I just so two three one <clears> nine <throat> could be a year. It could be a, yep. a address. That's what I'm trying to remember. Oh, I wish I knew I, the I opening. Think number six is the a, opening a, crawl a, for Babylon Five better, and whether that was the year or not. So two, four, it's the six, third oh, age of mankind. Midwest, blah, blah, blah. right? Like a Kansas or a maybe not Kansas. Is there another show complete. that we know the zip code very well? It'd be something kind of like that area. What's your zip code, Ben? Mine six two two three four. Oh, so this must so a zip code that starts with a two would be because the zeros are going to be on the coast, like near near uh, Philadelphia area. I think that wouldn't be like like Friends, right? The the zip code on Friends at all. I don't think. No. I don't think. How about how That's about just so one of those uh, firefighter shows, like Philadelphia Firefighter, or or like don't they have like a? There are television shows set in Philadelphia. Yeah, didn't they do a fire fireman show that was like oh, I'm trying to think? Are we all good on on number eight being space balls? Are we in agreement on that? Sure, I have right. No. That's common. That's the common. That's the combination of my luggage. Because that was the code to take down the the shield, so that they could take the air. I don't remember space balls from so long. Okay, so number four. What does that look like? It's not a phone number. It's not a zip code. It's not somebody's house. Would it be code. like a Donald it's Trump's a, prison number or it's something? Eight digits. I, I, I oh wait, no, it's I'm it's a birth date. No, November fifth, nineteen fifty-five. What would that connect to? But that is right, November fifth, oh, nineteen fifty-five. Okay. Could that That's be the right. guy from um, Quantum Leap? I don't watch Quantum Leap. Crap. November 5th, 1955. Come on, guys. You're smart. What is it? These are clever, Aaron. I tried to be. These are very clever. Ben so, got 10. Was that, that was like brilliant. Okay, so November 5th, 1955. Okay, November. Remember, remember the 5th of November? Is it the 5th? It's not 1955, though. No, but... um. That, would that be, could be someone's uh, birth date. Rock it could day. be the date someone Ooh, died. How about that movie from, how about V? Wasn't that Guy Fox? Yeah, but it's Vendetta. Vendetta, yeah, V is for Vendetta, but that's not 1955. Oh, uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Oh. 1955. That makes sense. Yeah, that's the year they go back to. Was it, it was 1958, wasn't it? Oh, was it 55? It's like 16 something. Like yeah, but year. why would Back to the Future be on November? 5th? No, but it was like, well, they might have done that. Right. It was that was probably like the setting on the machine. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, so 2319. It sounds like something from the future. Could it be 2001? What was the one after 2001? Wasn't there 2010. a- 2010. Oh. There yeah. was a one set even farther, Arthur C. Clarke or something did one in- uh, Yeah, 2061 and 3001. Oh. How about Asimov? Did he do anything? Oh, I, I, I'm the one that would know that, huh? <laughs> 2319. 2319. No. Sometimes if you say the numbers a certain way, like if I said four, Five one, it wouldn't mean as much to somebody except when you said four four fifty one four fifty one. No, no, 
I can give you it. Four five one. Fahrenheit Fahrenheit four five one. Yeah, Fahrenheit four five one. But if I just said four five one, you wouldn't pick up on it as easy. Right. Well, that's a problem. So if you say twenty three nineteen, or if you say two thousand three hundred and nineteen, or two three one nine, maybe it jogs your memory. Well, that's like it took a second for me to figure out that that was a date, but it's like it's it's you got to kind of. So, do we think six is a is a zip code, or do we think it's something different than a zip code? Twenty four six zero one. Could was there like um? That's probably a. Zip what were the years code. set for? No, that wouldn't be a year. Because if that's a year, that's far into the future. It, it couldn't be like something from the prisoner or something like that, or mm, no, those aren't prisoner. Seven, number seven. There's a lot of zeros in there. Oh, this is gonna bug me. Because there's well, seven is a phone number. Seven is a phone number from the Doctor Who show. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, the zero is a British phone number, right? Is it the number of the TARDIS? It could be. Well, it doesn't matter. Put put um. Doctor Who on number seven. All right. Nope. Sounds good to me. Okay. Number Is that seven. how they st typically display it too? Is in groups of like five? I don't, I don't know. know. That's the only thing I come up with. And I do five know and six. Out of the zero. Okay. Two, four, six. So two. all we need is two and six. six. I mean, other than five, if we think five might be something else, but. I thought I remember Aaron also being a fan of Babylon um, 5, so that's my guess for 5. Okay, but. so number... Okay, for 5. Unless 2 is... What is the upside-down world one? Uh, Stranger Things. And they have a character... She's 11, right? Yeah. Is there a main character that's 5? That nope. would have been a bonus question, number 11. No. There's no uh, character that's 5? There is not... Not that I am aware of. Um, how about Star Trek reference? There's the 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 alien race that's there's already yeah, but we Star already Trek. have Star Trek on number one. I wouldn't think there's gonna be repeats. No, no. Aaron might be trying to fool us. Five of nine, right? Twenty-three. You talking seven of nine from Voyager? Was it seven of nine? Yeah, seven of nine is from Voyager. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna drop my phone. Two. What's the song they sing in the musical? What about all the numbers? Eight, six, seven, five, three. No, 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 no. The musical where they say so many days, so many days. Oh yeah, from Rent. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I've never heard. Five thousand seven hundred fifty-five. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I have no idea. It's not none of these, right? No, I don't think so. Oh crap. Twenty three nineteen. For some reason that sounds it might it's be Sesame sound Street. Clear. Two, three, one, nine. Let's see. Well, but no, that could it nine. could be like the address. Like what's what's an address in Sesame Street or you know, who knows? What is Sesame Street's address? Is it one, two, three? I don't you, remember. You have to know so you can tell me how to get there. Can how to get to Sesame, to Sesame Street. How about Sonny. Mr. Rogers? Did he have an address? Yeah, I don't think. I'm, I, my guess would be five is Babylon 5. I'm, I'm thinking through the opening monologue in my head, and I don't think they actually specify a year in the opening monologue of Babylon 5. Well, if we can't come up with anything for 2319, we can put Babylon 5. We can put it twice, sure. Yeah. Um, so I think it's like it was the dawn, dawn of the third age mankind, something, blah, 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 blah. Is there any, any reference to like any ago. reference to like Spider-Man? No, they don't the, give a year. Um, no, they don't. Or um, the like the Arnold Schwarzenegger series, you know, Terminator. Terminator. Is that the year that he went forward? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I don't know what the, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Song. Yeah, it could be like the year Skynet was. Oh, yeah. that would make sense. Skynet 2319. Yeah. That yeah Skynet sense. was deployed in 1995. Yeah. When was the, when did the, he have to go into the future? I don't think it was ever specified. 
I thought it was 2,500 or something like that. With Aaron, how, how's everybody frozen. doing? Coming along. Most have answers. Some have guesses. I need, we need the answer to number two. Can you help us out? <laughs> help, help, your, help your team out, Aaron. Come on. Aaron's here. Aaron can give us the number six and number two. I We're don't know. I, I don't know. I'd have to go look at the answer sheet. <laughs> oh, too much effort. Well, it, we, it took us a little bit, but we finally figured out that four was a date. So that helped. Yeah, you, that was good. You're clever. You're on it tonight. That turkey helped you out. Apparently, which is amazing because <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sleepy. Have some uh, I was hoping for 250624. <laughs> I'm, pass, I'm passing the word that number five is exceptionally vague as a clue and we we will you know we will probably start arguments when we get back okay we'll uh, deal with that but i guess the question is with it being vague does that mean we can take multiple answers babylon five hawaii five oh sesame street let's sing a song I'm, on five I, I i'm not answering any of that question i'm just telling you it is a vague i, I recognize it's, it's vague. extremely you, vague Aaron. It's a vague clue. Strike that question from the record. Unless we got it right, then keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to do another. Well, v, the show V okay. was I'll five. See in a minute. I'm going to do v another cycle v. through, and then I will announce closure. Okay. okay. V is the num num Roman numeral yeah, for five. Yeah, but it stands for visitor. It doesn't stand. Yeah, it okay. doesn't stand. Yeah, so it, okay. yeah, if it was actually V, then I would think about it. But with it being five, I doubt it's for V. Because, yeah, V V was for visitors. So, shoot, we need an answer for two and an answer for six. Okay, so let's say two is not a year. What else could that be? Two, four, two, three, one, nine. A page number. Could that be Buffy Summer's address? You would know, Caspian. Um, <laughs> the Vampire Slayer? It doesn't. Yes. It. It. I watched be. Buffy, but I don't know well enough to say, yes, that's definitely it. But I, I'd say that's a, about our best guess so far. It's a, I feel like it's either, a, it's either a year or an address. So we're talking like the, the address for her house or something. Yes. Like on the show. Okay. Okay. So uh -huh. number six, let's go on to range six. Okay. Zip code. It could be. If so, it's in probably, like you said, Philadelphia or where I else think it's the East Coast. It's, it's East the coast. East Coast, definitely, but I don't know where. How far? But it's not the Coast Coast. It's not like on the water. No. The zero. Could be. No, the zeros are over there. No. Uh, Washington, D.C. The zeros are in my two thousands. Hmm. Who is? What did you say, Caspian? Washington, D.C.'s zip code starts with a two. But that's a, just a little bit more. That's it's not like the zip code. That's not the zip code for. Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's not like the zip code for the White House. What's the address of the White House? Uh, Pennsylvania, Avenue. Pennsylvania Avenue. Avenue. Right. But but no, I don't know the uh, zip. Well, what would zip. be associated with it? How about West Wing or? Could be. Because, yeah, it's a TV show or movie. It's not something. Well, okay. What would be. Oh, uh... But why would they have on the West Wing would they have a zip code? Well, the address is the White House. Yeah, but that's really, really out there. Unless the TV show says they're there. I want to look this up so bad. Like the minute we end this round, I want to go look it up. Ooh, Pennsylvania 65,000. That's true. But you never know the zip. I don't know the zip. Oh, come on, you guys. One more. We could do this. TV show or movie? Crap. How about The Fresh Prince of Bel Air? <gasps> oh no, that was California. He went from yeah, California. Yeah. That'd be a nine. Yeah. And that was he went from, but where did he come from? Come yes. from Philly. Yes, Aaron, to Philly. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So put that in. Put that in. Fresh Prince. Should, could that be his Philly zip code? Because was that specified? Yeah, but it doesn't make sense with the other categories. It wasn't if I, if I close the rooms, does it automatically give you a 60 second countdown? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just okay. stay in this room and don't leave it. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. That was my plan. Thanks. Okay, good. So, I mean, I don't know. Are Fresh they all, I mean, they're all pretty sci fi, but I guess, but Get Smart is kind of sci fi. I what mean, was um, we should what was the movie it, the time travel movie with uh the two guys that went back in time and keanu reeves oh the matrix? Ted? not matrix bill, bill and ted, ted. 
Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. But that was, we, in, that was in California, San Dimas. That was in the- So do we like, I'll just put fresh Independence Prince, Day, put Independence Day because that's something that happened in DC in that area. Oh, you mean for a zip code? Yeah. Remember Independence Day? Was that some kind of a- <laughs> So was Mars or is there a, Is there like a bunker somewhere Mars with where the president the hides? No idea. I have no idea. Do we like Fresh Prince or do we want to go uh, Independence Day? I'm just a guest Either here. one, I mean, those are so Fresh big. Prince. I can't imagine those. Would be They're what? both wrong, but. <laughs> I like Fresh Prince because it's funnier. We'll put that yeah. for now because it's probably uh, wrong regardless. All right, good luck. Yeah, it's, okay, it's, great we, job. We got a few wrong. Really good job. But it's yeah. right now it's raining. Mm -hmm. So it'll rain until about um, December is the end of the rainy season. It's October to December is the rainy season. Right, right. Then then it's December, January, February. Beautiful. And then the heat begins in about April. It gets hot. It's kind of hot. But here it's kind of like Hawaii. The weather is very much like Hawaii. It's about the same. Aaron, that was really clever. Yeah. That was that was in, in, in a lot of ways that was sneaky. <laughs> That was sneaky, some of them, because it didn't always, yeah. Our sneaky. team was amazing. I, we don't even I, know that it's sneaky because we haven't figured them out yet to know what they mean. I, I think many of them were, were I, will, I will argue many were good clues, and I will also admit from listening to everybody that question five was not so good. <laughs> but Aaron, if, <laughs> if someone it's got it, we got it right. If we got it right, will you give good credit? <laughs> Oh, if, somebody, don't, don't, if somebody if, got it right, don't let anybody else get it. Just if in. somebody got it right, then there's no argument. As long as no, no, but that's not fair because that just means <laughs> they, they sure. guess what was in your mind and exactly. other people also match the answer. So exactly, fair. Rob. So very fair. I, I've been through the rooms. I don't think any, I've been through the rooms. I don't think anyone got it. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? So let me see really? if I can make this work. Here's a trivia question. What's in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean in my pocket? What's, what's in my pocket? In its pockets. What's Chicken in his pockets? Yep, you got that one. Uh, <clears throat> Woohoo. Okay. My, my sister had that as her license plate, believe it or not. I'm oh, not that's that was cool. When she moved to Oklahoma, she was able to get it. She couldn't get it where we lived originally in New York. Yeah. Oh, wow. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, so. It should be a rental car. What? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Number one. And I'm going to see if I can make this work. Give me a moment here. I don't know if I can get back to the chat. Here we go. I'm going to try to do chat and the PowerPoint at the same time. You could, po you could post the chat all at once at the end if you want. Most people do that if they're showing slides. Okay. Yeah. So number one, is, num number one is Star Trek. Um, NCC 1701 was the uh, the I, the number for the USS Enterprise. I heard somebody as I traveled through rooms saying that there were multiple enterprises, but they all had 1701 in their in their name. And, and what does NCC stand for? Uh, I, I just looked this up yesterday, by the way. Uh, Do we know? Uh, naval uh, naval construction contract. There's actually no official designation according to. <laughs> oh, they just said. Actually, there's, there's no the canonical. Enterprise in the show Enterprise was NX01. Yes. All right, nerds. Yep. Come on, move on. <laughs> and, and, and I will point out, I did put links to where I found my information. Almost everything came from Wikipedia. And Thank we you. all know. Thank you. And we all know how good that information is. Wrong, so. <laughs> Amazing, brilliant. Okay, got it. 2319, I could not find it on oh. Wikipedia. But it's Mon Monsters Inc. 2319 is the code word for uh, when they're in. Totally oh, you're that. right. 2319. You are did, absolutely Carl, right. Did you I've get seen that this one? movie a no. thousand times. I was say, how how I is it you? Wait, 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 Aaron. Aaron, when, when, I, not, I, I didn't hear what you said over everyone's enthusiasm. When when some when one of the monsters comes back from the human world with an object, it's a twenty three nineteen 
uh, emergency. Oh. I knew that too, and I kept saying twenty three nineteen. Why does the, that sound so familiar? The well, first you didn't time, know it, Susan, because you didn't tell it to us when you were. First, I did say that is so familiar. Uh, the first time the sock was on was on one of the monsters' backs. Yeah. It went through several. Oops, sorry. It went through several different hey. times it was used, and a little bit of trivia on it. 2319 represents WS. W is the nice. 23rd letter. S is the 19th, and it stands for white sock. <laughs> cool. It was a white uh, sock. It was a white sock on uh, <laughs> Sully. Sully's back. back. John Goodman. <laughs> George Sanderson, because he got all shaved. Yep. It was very good. Yeah, I've seen that movie hundreds of times. Number three. God, I'm so. Get smart. I think most people got that was easy, smart. yeah. Number four. <clears throat> November 5th, 1955. Oh. The date, oh. the date oh. Doc Brown discovered oh. invented oh. the flux capacitor. Oh. I'm so date, happy that Rob didn't get it. <laughs> the date Marty McFly goes back to to in the end. Uh, did, did, did you did you realize it was a date, Rob? No. We, we, yeah, took, we, took oh, no, no, yes, we did. Like, at the end, at the end, oh, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we, we thought it was a date, but yeah. we didn't know what it was. We, we were thinking about something in the Guy real Fox world. Day. Okay. It was Gay, Guy Fox Day. Yeah. We mm. put the day the Earth stood still. Mm. <laughs> here, here comes, here comes, the, movie, here comes the one that no oh. one will like me for. Here we go. You ready? Lighthouses. It's the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. Oh, incorrect. We oh, had short short Babylon Five. Babylon oh, Five. And Fifth Element. Yeah. Short Circuit. There, there are five. number five. There are five. so many options that I think we are going to go with only nine points in this round as a as a perfect round. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I had a feeling that this was going to come up with all sorts of different responses and that nobody would head in the direction <laughs> my, in the direction that my head went. That's even proving that five, none though, of us are not, psychic. Nobody this knows. Not, this is not, you know, more space related either. I've never heard of Speed Racer. Well, what? yeah, it was, a, it was a fun. It was a fun cartoon. Yes, yeah, yeah, actually, actually race go. they did a movie Before fairly recently, I which bombed. I haven't seen it. We're kidding. A lot of people had trouble with this one. Two four oh. six zero oh, one uh, is Jean Valjean's uh, prisoner number. Oh, oh. I did not remember oh that. Oh gosh, we had that before. Gosh, yes. Wow. We got it because we put the prisoner it. down for everything we well, didn't I've know. Seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. And for, and for the little bit of uh -huh. trivia there, 24601 was chosen because Victor Hugo believed it was the date he was conceived, the 24th of June. <laughs> in oh, Why would you know that? This was a very tough one to figure to find confirmation of this number it turns out the number is only twice in the novel mm. but it's sung, but is sung multiple times and has its own song so i included some of the lyrics yes yes oh. <laughs> and, and and i and and i did expect some people to be les mis nerds and pick up on it but you know. i've not, right. not seen that is that worth watching yeah oh yeah <laughs> It drove me crazy. Just, just stop. Just talk for a while. Don't keep <laughs> singing all the time. It's I worth just, it. It's it's it didn't work. It didn't work for me. It yeah, same thing happened. You need to, you need to strike Vietnam the right balance the with singing thing. Like and dialogue. Am I seeing Wolverine in this? Is that Wolverine? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is Wolverine. But but there is no display there is no display of his claws anywhere in the movie. <laughs> he keeps them in his sleeve. Is he, is he indestructible and he heals? He is, he is quite strong. Oh, is the TARDIS. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. So, at yes. least yes. at least one group got this. Yes. Yeah, yes. we did. Good job, team. I didn't remember. And I that. heard some people talking about well, Doctor Who is from nineteen sixty three, but this is from the recent upgrade up update of the show. And Throughout the episodes, every time he gets a companion, he's always updating their cell phone oh. to, be able to, to be able to call all throughout the world <laughs> and all throughout the galaxy, the universe, yes. you know, in, in time. 
and there is uh, while it's while it's only shown in one episode when he updates Martha's phone to a super phone, this is the phone number that is the number to call Doctor Who. And so after that was aired, and after that was aired, twenty five hundred fans tried to call it. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are wondering, it's a United Kingdom phone. That's phone why we number. figured Doctor Who because we figured out. No, so, so that's weird because I thought the United Kingdom was zero four. We we get calls from the United I, Kingdom on RFR a lot, and they're always zero four. So but I, I think the, I think the zero four might be the uh, the international calling code. We're zero. Yes. Yeah. This You're is this there, is the number. Know. This is the phone number if you're calling local. Oh, in, that, in, that, that, in, then it certainly makes no sense because it should have been a Gallifreyan number. <laughs> <laughs> it gets right, rerouted please. through the United Kingdom. Uh, Hi, Alan. Num number eight. Number eight. Number eight. I'm so excited. Yes. Oh, wow. Did everybody get now, this one? This is space oh. ball. And space ball. I can space play. Ball. I can play the clip if you'd like. Yeah, it was his. Um, I mean, oh, I thought we lost the sound, but that's okay. We just got demonetized. <laughs> no, I was out. I I paused that. Yeah. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. you're recording it. Oh. <laughs> that's what was going on. Very okay, good. Aaron. Aaron, yeah. would you? Aaron, would you accept Sesame Street? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure they counted from one to five on it. Yep, we, yes, we they did. Sang the song. Now, I, but that, this, one, this one I think everybody got. That, yeah. And, yep. and I will accept two answers for this. Beverly Hills 90210 was the original show, and it was yeah. rebooted as 90210. So if you only said 90210, that counts also. But so the answer the is answer. the question. The answer, in that case, the answer is the question, but Beverly Hills 90210 is what I was looking for. Yay. Yeah. And I don't That's think like anybody, Jeopardy. I don't think anybody, you know, Best went with just yeah. 90210. The next one is really, 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 really clever, and Ben got it. I want you guys to know he got it right away. I think a couple of people got it. Yep. It's the order of showing, <laughs> the order of episodes in Star Wars. Yeah, Carolyn read out loud the, the sequence being in the weird order, and all of a sudden it just clicked. Oh, so, yes. I, so I put some comments in here. This was, you know, episode four was really just plain Star Wars. It had no episode number when it came out. Right, right. The, the Empire Strikes Back was famous for no, <laughs> because Luke didn't want uh, yeah. Darth Vader to be his father. Return of the Jedi well, was originally supposed to be Revenge of the Jedi, but there's no revenge for and a Jedi. There are some posters for that. Yes, there are. At one point, I had a T-shirt with that. Is the oh, original cool. script is, is out there with that name on it? Yep, the Phantom Men Menace. I I could not stand Phantom Menace. Pod racing, anyone? Awful. Attack yeah. of the Clones. I just kind of you know used send in the clowns and don't bother. They're here. <laughs> Revenge uh, of the Sith. Here's the revenge we wanted. Force Awakens. Anyone seen Luke? And I couldn't no. think of anything for the other two. Oh. Yeah. They're not <laughs> worth it anyway. About, That's yeah, kind of, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was massive. Yeah, but the original release of Star Wars did not have the subtitle, right? That was added in right. later right. Star Wars. Right. Yeah. Was, yeah. It didn't say part four? No. no. Nope. Or it did, and it didn't have a new hope. Was it, was Star Wars. it was it was just Star Wars. Oops. I, I got a question for the Star Wars geeks. I I, I went to a store and they had three a three movie set of videos and it was like two dollars and ninety nine cents. I looked it up on eBay and someone was selling it for like two thousand dollars. What? Could that be true? Is it worth something? Well, what kind of quality was? The... It's three. It's a three gold set. It's called. Of, was it uh, the limited edition DVD? Yeah. Then those are actually worth a lot more than that than what they were asking for, but they're not worth a thousand dollars. 
Okay. Yeah, I paid two ninety nine for the three videos. Yeah, they're set. worth about twenty twenty five bucks a piece if they have. Oh, okay. Not worth a, not well, were worth you looking 14. at how much it sold for, or how much people were asking? No, nah, somebody was. There was a whole bunch of high prices on eBay. Yeah, you, you got to look. You got to look at completed stuff, listings right? and yeah. what things actually sold for, mm -hmm. because people will list things for astronomical prices. Right. Just to right. See That's why I bought it. Well, this is all it. very interesting, but we're going to scores now. Thank you. Okay. Aaron, that was really clever. Except for the five, that was yeah. for five. <laughs> but everything else was very close. Well, well, let's let's let me just say I think it was a better set of clues than the MLS clues I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? This is I'm, a I'm, category we can be done again. Just saying. I'm I'm very I'm very surprised that MLS hasn't been sitting up there with Punch and Judy and <laughs> and Lighthouse. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> All right, so let's go to three tired turkeys hoping for a pardon. Four, four, I got. We got four. Two. Okay. We don't have a name because we chose not to partake. I believe we got five. Team back me up on that. I think we got five. We got five. five. Okay. All of Trump's books start at chapter 11. Six. Six. Two full to eat pie. Three. And last but not least, Aaron's own team, check your cats before you fly. Seven. Ah, oh, there's the nerds. Uh, Good for you. Uh, that was really fun. I would like to say something after saying yay, Aaron. Um, I would like to say something about Robin. Okay. Uh, she's a great person. I would also like to say <laughs> that she would she will join us for the bonus. She would like a reminder when we're near, and I'll try and remember that. But I'm telling you all, so you will help me remember. Thank you. Perfect, Aaron. Okay, so very good. Thank you, Aaron. Very interesting. And keep that in mind, people who are looking for ideas for categories, those kinds of things, maybe from books or from just movies or just TV or songs or whatever. That's really good. I need to write that down. Hold on a second here. What's my number? <clears throat> Put it right there. Okay, so Gail is our mm -hmm. next contestant to fool us. And let me okay. give Gail her power. Let me rip them away from Aaron, pry them out of Aaron's dead hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Old, dead hand. Hand. Old live hands. Rip them a terrible way from you. Okay, so Gail, what do okay. you got for us tonight? We're going to do something very different, and my background actually is a hint because we're going to talk about thanksgiving traditions after all wow thanksgiving. why thanksgiving traditions what, Perhaps, what made you think of that on thanksgiving day yeah that was that was i was trying to think what to do and i came up with i came up with enough questions that i could do it again next year but then you'd know so we can't do it okay <laughs> oh, we won't have forgotten we'll have forgotten all right are you ready for the mute countdown yes yeah. okay we'll mute and then uh, you have to unmute Gail. So we'll mute in three, two, and one. No. Okay. Uh, the first question, they're all separate questions. What US president officially declared that the last Thursday in November would be a federal holiday of Thanksgiving? And we're gonna talk about presidents for a while. Question two. Question two, but this is not the first official day of Thanksgiving declared by a president. Washington did it twice, once to celebrate a Revolutionary War victory and once to celebrate the creation of what national document? Name either the battle or the document. Question three. Yet another president tried to move Thanksgiving one week earlier to boost the economy by giving more time for Christmas shopping. The effort failed after only half the states agreed. Who did this? What president did that? Or at least tried to do it. Question four.
The formal tradition of presidents pardoning Turkey before the holiday started with Truman. However, President Coolidge was given a gift to be eaten for Thanksgiving dinner, and he decided to adopt it as a pet instead. What was the animal? And a hint, it was not a turkey. Dinosaur. It was an actual animal. Banana slug. <laughs> Maybe it was a drop bear. Was it a drop bear? Drop bear. <laughs> okay. Uh, question five. Most of our current version of that first Thanksgiving is based on myth. But there was a native tribe that the colonists had a treaty with that came to the harvest feast. What was that tribe? And number six, one, co one company was left, one American company, I think it's American, a, a company, was left with 260 tons of leftover frozen turkeys after they overestimated turkey sales in 1953. To sell them, what did the company invent? Turkey drop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't say anything because it might be part of it. You, 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 you got to that one before me. Yeah, I thought that one was too easy. I was tempted. Okay, the next one um, is for the benefit of all those non-Americans here. The first celebration of the Thanksgiving when European colonists in North America wished to express gratitude for God, and this is a quote, for their strange and miraculous deliverance in, in these so dangerous places, was not in Plymouth, but in Nana Root, Canada. Uh, what year did that happen? Plus or minus 10 years? Are you trying to pronounce Nunavut? Is that okay? <laughs> I'll well, buy that. No way when I got that. <laughs> Nunavut. I wow. Just Nunavut, yeah. That's a word. That's a, yeah. It's a big. <laughs> I think the Canadians, if every team is a Canadian, you're probably all going to know that one, right? I'll have none of it. Question eight. The Macy's Thanksgiving Parade is famous for balloons. They were first introduced in 1928 as a replacement for what previous attraction in the parade? Executions. Meow. <laughs> hangings, public hangings. I shouldn't laugh. Susan, don't laugh. Okay, question nine. During 2020, the parade was downsized and closed to the public as a broadcast only event, but it was completely canceled from 1942 to 1944. This was because two important resources were needed for the war. Name one of them. Oh. And question 10. There are many performers during the parade, but since 1957, one group has been part of the parade every single year. Who are they? That's the Simpsons. The Simpsons. Very good. Thank you for our annual turkey, turkey questions. Okay, Dale or Terry, do your duty. Terry, duty. Can can you define performers in number ten? People who are performing, they are does, doing. Does something. this count groups which march in the parade? What a wonderful performing. question, Gail! It's so perfect. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant question. Did I did I hear an answer to the question? I'm putting Alan on two full two. Wait, what do we think? Is Bob, Karen, Terry? Okay, that's fine. Terry might. Terry, you usually leave early. I can't remember. No, you don't. You should put me on the top team because this this will even things out. Sometimes I do. Okay, so Adrian, Gail, and Janine. No, those always. Well, Adrian, I'm going to put you on two because Adrian might probably leave. Okay, room two, Paula. You ready? We got the prisoner. Good for us. I'm bringing Alan with you, and Paula's here. Oh, yay, Alan. 
Good. We we all it. Okay. Well, hang on. I'm glad I was on your team here, Adrian. I got a question. Uh huh. Now, Nanavut is a new a new invention because it didn't exist when I when I was at, when I was in Canada. Yeah. Um, was it was it Nanavut before it was Nanavut? It was part of the Northwest Territories. Right. So what I well, I knew that was all Northwest Territories. Mm -hmm. Was it considered at that time the Nanavut part of Northwest Territories? I don't think so. I think this is is that's what the indigenous people have called it forever. Oh, so right, well, that's that's what I wanted to know. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Because so it's not made up. That. It's not because made of up. That, because of that because of that question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, there we didn't call it Nanavut. No, us us white people did not. <laughs> But I, apparently the indigenous, that's what the indigenous name for that area has always been. So that's, I think that's my understanding of it anyway. That's what, that's what both, both of them called it when they were out there. <laughs> both of them. Oh, a lot more. There's actually several communities up there in that area. It's uh, pretty well populated. Your family's, uh, well, your, your parents I've been to, yeah, I've, been to yeah, I've been to Yellowknife. I've not been to, to, um, yeah. that part yeah, of town. The, the none of it area is more in the Hudson's Bay area. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 east yeah. of that. Yeah, we have all three. All right. I don't know where. So how are right. we doing? Who's in charge? All right, everything down. I don't think we need to see it, do we? Does everyone need to see no. it? We've it got the chat. Yeah, I don't have the chat, so I have no idea. But she's she's right here. She's ready yeah. again. Okay, who's can, in charge? We can read them off to you, Paula. Okay. Number oh, one right was. Here. What U.S. president officially declared the last Thursday in November to be a federal holiday of Thanksgiving? Lincoln? I thought it was Lincoln. I know it was in the 1860s because I was just reading well, about that would the be U.S. Lincoln. Thanksgiving. That's Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln then. Nice. I can actually help a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you have your turkey day before us, so, you know. Yeah. You're what would, but this was not the first official Thanksgiving declared by a president. Washington did it twice, once to celebrate a Revolutionary War victory and once to celebrate the creation of what national document? Name either the battle or the document. Would it be the, no, the Constitution was way after. Um, yeah, it would be the Articles of no, the Articles of um, Confederate uh, Impeachment. <laughs> no, what's no. the Articles of the Confederacy? That's that was from the 1860s, right? No, no, the um, Bill of Rights. The first, oh. the first Constitution were or Articles of um, what were they called, Paula? Well, I remember Articles of Confederation, but I don't remember what years those dealt with. Well, yeah, the Articles of Confederation were replaced by the Constitution, right? Is that what they were called? Would that be it? Because I don't think I could name the battle. Yeah, because I never saw, I never heard that he had named something after a battle. Lexington? That was too early, because that, that, that was right at the beginning of the war. Mm. So I think okay. it'd be the, the articles, thing, thing, the articles thing I of question. Confederation, right? Bunker Hill. No. So yeah, if we yeah. we can name the, the the battle, that's right. Well, we don't know what the battle is, do we know? Actually, come to think of it, I, I, now Bunker Hill always just comes to mind because it's a cool name. But but um, that one was a long one, and they had to survive a brutal brutal winter to make it through and 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 ultimately win. I think they won that battle but uh, they were they were hunkered down in the, uh, in the cold and freezing uh, and I'm just wondering that would be something that you would be thankful for at the end of, at the end of the day right yeah but he wasn't president yet they hadn't won the they hadn't won the battle they hadn't won the war so what about the battle of 1812 he wasn't president. He wasn't okay. Mm -mm. Come think, but he wasn't. He was. I think he was dead already. Okay, yeah, I think. So. I don't know my president date. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I, yeah, I think he was dead. 
Valley Forge was the freezing one, but I don't know. If yes, it was that, that's the one. I'm. You're right. Not. It was not yeah, Bunker Hill. It was time. Valley Forge. No, it wasn't Bunker Hill. But, but, but it's the same. But it's a, but it's the same. The same D. I think. The same it wasn't thing a said. battle of Valley Forge, was it? It was just a place where they that was made. Famous no, there was a, there was a there was a battle there. I think. Was there? Should we say the Battle of Valley Forge, or should we say the Articles Confederacy? I think the Articles of Con not of Confederation. Okay, let's put that. That sounds more yeah. generic than Articles of Confederation. I don't think we're going to know exactly which battle. Yep. Okay, question three. Yet another president tried to I move. I think that was FDR. FDR? Yeah, he was always trying to mix stuff up to try and, because, you know, with the economy back when, mm. you know. When he oh, that makes sense, there, is there, is there, I'm just sort of wondering if there wasn't anything that he didn't end up being able to do. Oh, he was like, yeah, he was there long enough. Oh, he, a lot he couldn't expand time. the Supreme Court. So, yeah. if he yeah. had long um, enough, we would probably have universal health care. Yeah. Because he wanted um, like that. The, uh, let's see. So, Coolidge was given a gift to be eaten for Thanksgiving, and he decided to adopt was it as a pig? pet instead. Was well, it the a, pig or the rash? Oh, and, you know what I think it was? I think it was a sheep. I was thinking I a sheep, sheep thing. Too. Some kind of, I think we've some had kind this of, question before. We have. Because it's gotta be, it's gotta be something that is normally eaten, but it's also cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't the raccoon. No. Because his no, wife just, had a pet raccoon. No, but you oh, don't know. No, nobody's gonna give somebody a raccoon to eat. Raccoon. No. Not, they, not eat the rac raccoon. they eat raccoons. Well, not for a, a White House dinner. No. Hey, that's not going to, this is Coolbridge we're talking. That ain't going to go very far. Coolidge. Coolidge. It ain't going to go very far, a raccoon. That's that um, an appetizer. <laughs> and it was a sheep and not a cow or something. I, I, think, might, yeah, I think it was a sheep. I, somebody I, I had, a, somebody had a cow that lived in the farm, no. too. No, but you're not, you're not going to have a generally a pet cow. I think a sheep is a little more manageable. Yeah, sheep are Excuse or something. me. As long as you have, as long as you have someone that has a shovel nearby. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a I sheep because I think disagree. we had this question before. Cows. Anyway, <laughs> five. Not in the White House. Um, most of our current version of the first Thanksgiving is based on myth, but there was a native tribe that the colonists had a treaty with and that came for a harvest feast. What tribe? No idea. Not the Roanoke's. Um, Not they the were Washington's. the Washington the, Red, the Washington Redskins. Oh yeah. What, <laughs> Paula, what did you say? Not the Powhatans, right? How do you spell it? P o w h a t o n. I don't think it's them. Mohicans. Mohicans. That sounds familiar. For well, the Cree, familiar, but I'm not. I like the last of the last of Mohicans, the Mohicans that was written much further after. Yeah, maybe that's why it sounds familiar. Uh, the Powhatans that's that was the group that like Pocahontas came from. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so it's something further east. It was more the northeast tribe, a northeast tribe. Mm. Um, were the Al was the Allegheny. Was there a, a, a tribe, the Alleghenies? Doesn't ring a bell to me. Okay. Um, we need more East Coast Americans in this for this particular. Yes. Well, the, the Cree were East Coast, weren't they? Who? What? The, Cree, the Cree? But I, I don't, don't think, I think that was it. it. I think it's a complicated name. Mm. Prisoners? Is there one that starts with I? Um, Iroquois? Iroquois. I don't know how to spell that. No. Iroquois. 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 Q-U-O-I. I think. Yeah. We can say it. We don't have to spell it correctly. Question was Iroquois? Yeah, they were brought over by the French. <laughs> so one company left two had left with over 
260 tons of leftover frozen turkeys after they overestimated turkey sales in 1953. To sell them, what did the company invent? Oh, oh spam, dinner. maybe? <laughs> the TV, TV dinner. Oh, TV dinners, yeah. That's clever. I, that I remember good. that from some trivia before. Here comes Romero. Yay, Romero. Well, a TV, I, I mean, TV dinner would make sense because the timing is right. Bye. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Was it Swanson? I think it was Swanson. Oh, that's yeah, good. I, I thought Swanson. Yeah. 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 Yes. Did you, have, did you have a little folding table that you could uh, put in front of the chair and eat your dinner uh, on the folding table? Yeah, uh -huh. I did. Yeah. We the did. first celebration of Thanksgiving when European colonists in North America wished to express gratitude to God for their strange and miraculous deliverance in those so dangerous places was not Plymouth, but you guys say it. None Canada. of it. Yeah. <laughs> what year? Plus or minus? It was 10. a long time ago. Plus or minus two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say like sixteen eighty, but because I had this question, <laughs> something to do with this question two years ago, but I, I may be way off. Well, what the hell were they doing ago. way up there? What were they doing way up there? It was one of the the explorers, one of the famous explorers, and I just can't. I'm terrible with pulling it. Northwest Passage. When people were yeah. just arriving, it would be the six. Henry Hudson. Uh, uh, how far back does Henry Hudson go? Uh oh. oh okay, we haven't oh, even gotten. We gotta through. go. Hurry. Okay, Come guys. Stay. We're chatting too much. The Thanksgiving parade one is helium. Okay. No, no, no. What was so yeah. far? The Macy's eight. Thanksgiving Day Parade is famous for its balloons. They were first introduced in 1928 as a replacement for what previous attraction? Yeah, so it wasn't oh. helium. Oh, nine. No. Nine, nine is helium and rubber, and ten, I'm thinking, is the rockets. What's the question? I thought it was an Irish one for the. And eight, we're trying to figure out what did the balloons replace? I think they had animals. Could they have had oh, so. could they animals? Have had dir dirigibles? Animals. Okay. And he animals. And Paula, the year, what year did you say for seven? 16. Can you repeat? I, if it was early, it would seems like it'd have to be the 16th century, not the 17th century. Uh, okay, can we have a minute? Better. Our team needed a couple more seconds, so I don't know. Can we have a minute or two? Can we have? We have yeah, we, we need to be joined as soon as the minute time. Yeah. Hi, hi, Faith. Hi, Romero. Okay, so hi. Go we got rid of our guests and cleaned up our kitchen. Okay. No chit chat. No chit chat. Yeah, for real. No chit chat. Come on. Um, I'm oops. not the exact year, but I ha I have to think that it has to be at least 16th century, early on, 15 something. So if you do like 1580. Oh, we're both thinking the same thing. So. I said, yeah. Well, how, what's the what's the plus minus? Ten. Ten. Oh, geez. Okay, the rock cats have been around a long time, but so has that. They, yeah. Um. You know what? Shriners. I think it might be. Yeah. It's some. I think it's Shriners. What was the question? You think it's Shriners? During the parade. Well, well, it's not going to be the rock cats. The rock cats don't. I I doubt the rock cats do anything. Okay, so for Shriners. Shriners. Okay. We got everything. And number nine is helium and rubber. Helium. Yeah. But it says helium. Go with helium. Oh, okay. Go with helium. helium. Yeah, okay. helium and animals for eight. Yep, eight. that's good. I didn't know about the animals. Oh, the animals, yeah. Okay. They put okay. in. They said no more animals. Let's pick, put giant balloons. <laughs> that's a great idea. Well, yeah, but giant balloons don't leave things behind. And they <laughs> so they have more easier they to have clean, clean up. <laughs> and you can see the balloons better, and not the. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, good job, you guys. Well done. Not, not dirigibles, dirigible balloons. But, all right. For at a specific time, and we don't know why. It has enabled it closed just, captioning. It just does. It just does it. Mm. I don't know why. Just take if a it's like shot. clockwork, it's it's probably something scheduled. Yeah, check your scheduled mm. tasks and event viewer, and should be able to narrow that down. Yeah. Yeah. He's so upset. What is your problem?
If it's actually, if it's an orderly reboot where it doesn't crash, it should be logged. Oh. All right, Gail. Okay. No, it's, it's not logged. Be logged to an extent. And I think this was harder There's than I thought error. it was going to be. I never can guess what you folks are going to find. Really? Well, we'll know in a minute. Yeah. All right. Go, ahead. Go for it. Okay. Question one. What president declared the last Thursday in November a federal holiday? Um, that was Abraham Lincoln. October oh, 30, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's all right. Sorry. That's that okay, was, Karen. Harry, that was, sorry. That was, that's when we've had an official Thanksgiving. Since I thought it was FDR. I'm sorry. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you had the right answer just to the wrong question. Our question two was it was either the battle or the document. Both of them were done by Washington. So if you read it carefully, it had to be while Washington was president, right? Right. So it was after the Battle of Saratoga, which was a major and, victory, uh, right? He wasn't elected American president at that time, but they considered this the country at that time. And the other one was for the Constitution in 1789. <laughs> oh, sorry. My brain is turkey impaired. <laughs> I plead the stuffed. Right. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I was listening to your answers and I thought, oh my goodness, I thought this was easier. And here was the answer that you had to the wrong question. The president who tried to do this because he wanted more time for Christmas shopping was FDR. FDR. He did yeah. it. Yeah. Like, he, he, it lasted for two years, but most of the states didn't do it and they finally gave it up. They called it Franksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Our refrigerator is open. <laughs> I can hear the more. Raccoons. Now no. I didn't expect I didn't expect you to get number four uh, because I was amazed when I read this one. Um, but Coolidge was given a gift and he didn't eat it. It was a raccoon. Oh, oh my god. Thank you, Caspian. Oh sorry. Caspian knew that. And I saw that, Susan, I thought of you immediately, and I thought, what a perfect one to that. If it had been run over in the street, would he have eaten it as, as roadkill? Oh, no. I, I don't know. He was given it as a, as a free dinner, and he liked it so much, they kept it at the back. Okay. okay. Question five was the Wampanoags. That's Yay. knowing that. That was the name of the tribe. Yay. They had a... And actually, there's a fascinating story with that, which I won't go into in little detail, but they had a, an, a, a, a agreement true. with them for mutual defense between the, the, the settlers and the tribe. And the settlers, Thanksgiving is the total myth, the story that we've all heard. And the settlers were practicing with their guns to make sure they were working. And the Indians heard the, the guns, so they came. And we know that from the record, but we don't know why they came. We don't know if they thought they were being attacked. They thought that the colonists were being attacked and they were honoring the treaty or what, but they came. And of course it was just a practice. So they ended up staying for dinner, but it was not planned at all to be an event. Okay, question six, the 260 tons of leftover turkeys uh, were there, it was 1953, and the company was Swanson, but the invention oh, was so the dinner. Yes. 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 Looks like everybody got it. <laughs> that was clever. I would have thought something totally different. If you are, if if you are, um, I will put these all in the in the <laughs> chat afterwards. Um, if you are Canadian, you might have known this. Um, it, it was in, I can't pronounce it, the city in Canada. And if you figured out that it had to be before the American colony starting right in 1609. So it was actually in 1578. Wow. So anyone of the 1568 to 1588 works. We did yeah, 1580. Oh, we got it? Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. 78. Yay. Wow. Yeah, Paula. No, yeah, I didn't see here. I just gave it. Century. Did you say it was a province, Adrian? Well, none of it, yeah. None of it. Oh, uh, territory? That's territory. Territory, sorry. Not a city. <laughs> not a city. <laughs> oh, no, it's not a city, no. <laughs> and then I got it wrong, too. It's all good. <laughs> Actually, the, 
Nunavut is actually um, the capital of. Uh, I'm going to learn to say that now. Future trivia. Yeah. Okay, yeah. question A. Was it's now famous for balloons? But before the balloons, there were live animals and they yeah. got oh. Hey, Karen. Yes. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. Better, the balloons are better because the balloons are like all over the place. Actually, I was wrong. It's Equitlowit. Equitlowit is the capital of Nunavut. Was it you? That's why, yeah. And question nine, there were two resources they needed for the war. And you can name either one of them. I think at least one team got rubber, was one of the resources. Good job, the other Cash one was helium. So either yeah, two yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Can we have two points if we got yeah, the both? <laughs> I was following the rule that you said you can only them. have one answer. Otherwise, I would have insisted you get both of them, right? Uh. <laughs> okay. And finally, number 10, I think you mostly got, which is the Radio City Rocket. Yeah. Oh, no. Yay, Karen. Yay. Oh, She's no. Nice. Said Shriners. I said Rocket. Oh, I, yeah, my fault. Did you? Yeah. Alan. I should have listened to Janine twice. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, you listened to Janine? Oh, good. You didn't. You no, ignored. I didn't. No. I listened to the rest of you. <laughs> Thank you for ignoring Alan. Or you should have just ignored Alan. I will never have been not two answers. answers to Faith and Ramiro again. Oh, now you think it's a ridiculous answer. Well, you know what? The Shriners might be the <laughs> St. Patrick's Day Parade or something. Shriners aren't Philly. Oh, the I don't Shriners. know these things. And the New Year's New Year's Parade in Philly. I, I didn't see the Shriners parades. today. The Shriners have been in all sorts of parades. They're in the little motorbike thingies. Yeah, actually, that yeah. was one of the I mean, questions I didn't do. The very first parade was not the Macy's parade. <sighs> It was it was in Philly, not in New York, and it was the very first parade is in Bristol, Rhode Island. Parade! Oh no. my God! The Shriners are even in the Calgary Stampede Parade. Amazingly enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in the Rose Parade. They are. But this was yeah. it. This said entertainers, right? Yeah. That's why I put entertainers scores. in there. Scores. Scores? Do I hear scores? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. actually, actually it said per performers, Gail. It didn't say entertainers. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, yeah, they didn't perform. March, they perform. Such as today, they were before the parade. They just stood in front of Macy's and danced. They still do that. <laughs> yeah, that's performers. Scores. Oh, God, just scores. trying to get the correct spelling of these words. You sound like zombies saying brain. Okay, brain. Fall asleep, scores. okay brain. so I can show you. Hold on, hold on. I gotta just clear things up over here. Calm your horses down. <laughs> hold them horses. Okay, so we have Faith Romero. Let's put, sorry, I gotta put that in there, right? You have to guess which three are the turkeys now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with two fold e pie, which was Gail's team. Uh, well, Janine got eight, but the team got six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so listen to Janine. Well, I'm out of there now, so you guys listen to Janine the rest of the time, all right? Okay, three tired turkeys hoping for a pardon. Four. But the team you got Romero. With Faith and Romero, we would have had six if we if we would listen to them. Yeah, they listened to us, but we only hey, have like I, I said Lincoln. Minutes. I was talked out of Lincoln too. Oh, we don't have a name because we chose not to partake. Six. Oh, very good. In stereo. In stereo. All of Trump's books start at chapter eleven. Nine. <gasps> you ain't oh, getting no right. people. Wow. You are not getting anybody new. Nine means they have no score. Check <laughs> your cats before you fly. Seven. Well, you could get somebody new. Good <laughs> average of 6.4. Not bad oh. at all. All right. Take part well, of my team. Of my team so. You got your work cut out. Picture, but a photo. I cannot find my turkey hat anywhere, you guys. I'm so <gasps> oh, That's oh. it. Oh. I thought this was going to be a celebration. Well, you you should have started looking for it weeks ago and bought a replacement when you couldn't find it. No, I know I Take have it somewhere. Of her. Where's your picture? You, picture you, you. We need to take an extended break, and Susan has to find her hat. No, I've looked all <laughs> over. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get ready to take this picture. Okay, you guys. Paula, are you going to come over here? Yeah, no, I've got right here. Paula's, Paula's covered in cats right now. Okay. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. 
Okay, now when you did the flash, I think you disappeared, so I don't know if they'll show Oh, it. she's got a cat on her TV. <laughs> There's a break time. Hi, Paula. Break Hi. time. Okay, break time. Break time. Is there any I'm okay, bye. here? The pies are in the oven. Because I, yes. I know what the error is. And, and are the and are the pot is the oven turned on? The oven should be preheated before you put the pies in. Yeah, it's at 375. Susan, did you give him those instructions beforehand? Who gasped? I mean, if, you didn't, if, if you didn't tell him, you know, you can't expect him to know everything. Oh, he knows he does pies like he's he's got the pie gene. <laughs> a pie yeah. gene. I That's made a... cranberry curd and it was amazing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you have Thanksgiving at your house? We did. Tomorrow? We hosted, we had Friendsgiving. So oh, we're doing that tomorrow. Did you and have going, chairs now? We have we have to we no, have we've same, always um, had plenty of chairs, Susan. The same amount of chairs so far. Yeah. Oh, I'm going oh. down to go get seconds because I want seconds now. One of our friends got very sick though. He ate too much. He had like three plates. Oh my God. Well, Caspian oh. usually happens to Caspian every year. He lays in the well, we had two on the couch or the floor goes, oh, oh, oh. Well, we ended up having two turkeys. One of them was done Cajun style and then I deconstructed three mine. Three turkeys? Two. I've been following it on Facebook. It's You've been doing really amazing work. The cranberry, oh, the cranberry curd tart from New York Times. Do not do the damn hazelnut thing unless this one here knows how to crack fucking hazelnuts. And I didn't find out till after I made the almond crust. He uses his mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. He has eleven percent of his brain. Mm -hmm. It's like bending spoons, but uh, mm -hmm. cracking the mm -hmm. hazelnuts. How did you defrost? How did you defrost the turkey? I said that. I said that. I uh, just, what I did is I I butchered the turkey. I basically butchered, like, took the legs, the wings, and everything off, and then just left it in the refrigerator for all from Tuesday on. So it basically dried out completely. Um, and it did fine. And I cooked it on the stovetop in a roaster pan and avocado oil to sear the skin, and then cooked the turkey within an hour in the oven <laughs> because it wasn't so there, together. Was there are any IT people here? Because I know what the error is. What's the error? The error was um, event ID 161, V-O-L-M-G-R. It says dump file creation failed due to error during dump creation. That was the error. Uh, yeah, if that, it's creating a dump, that's typically means that something happened to your computer. Otherwise, yeah. it wouldn't have tried to create a dump. Yeah, that that error in of itself isn't really very meaningful. It just means it tried to create a dump file and couldn't, probably because usually you didn't have enough hard drive space or you didn't have the right amount of hard drive space assigned for virtual memory. Or the, the failure had, of a dump file isn't a big deal. The, compro the computer had a problem when you were in the bathroom. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dump file. You got you got enough free space on your uh, hard drive, Vincent? I I should. Yeah, like tons. Okay, um, but yeah, that it could be like you're having an issue with a driver. Sometimes, if a driver is needing to be updated, it'll lock up your computer, and if it's locking up, it's trying to create a a dump file. But hey, I'm getting bored again. I'm, getting... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I needed help. I'm sorry. That's fine, but they got it. They it got hasn't been five minutes yet. Into it. Yeah, we're still in the break. Them, we're still in the break. The we're trying to help a fellow. Yeah, but that was just person like, during the break. Come on, you guys. Really? Jeez. What? Just tell him. Is there enough space on your computer? Yes. No. Okay. Try this. Done. All right. Got it. Drive. Yeah, I check, I'll check thing. for driver updates. That mm -hmm. might help, but you might have something else going on. Yeah. Well, more than likely. Not enough turkey. What do you got, Paula? What are you eating? She's got a cookie. Oh, in the hell. Is Paula your cat? <laughs> Paula, my cat. Paula. I don't know. <laughs> Paula, 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 Paula. Um, didn't you hear Susan adopted a new cat? Paula. She had cats all over her. Yeah. 
What are you doing? I was two thirds covered in cats. She sure shook it. Sure, sure. As in, you had two of three cats covering you, or two thirds of your total surface area was covered. Uh, two, in cats. two thirds of her cats. Okay. The the third third was looking at me, but just didn't make the jump. Has anyone seen the picture on the internet that measures a cat in sauce packets? So when it was a yeah. kitten, it was yeah. like two sauce yeah. packets long, and then, and then yeah. it was like like six or seven sauce packets. I can't remember as a as a adult cat. It was cute. Maybe. So, but. Does it happen at the same time every day, Vincent, or is it only when no, you're doing it's always random. Things? Okay. It's always random. And yeah. usually when I'm on Zoom or Skype. Hmm. Probably doesn't have enough. It probably does not have enough room. Hmm. No, it's it has plenty of room. Like I don't have a lot on there on there. So. Oh, I know what it is. Vincent. <laughs> Sometimes because your computer's fairly new, right? Yeah, it's very new. Yeah. Okay, so in my case, and Caspian had figured this out for me, for some reason, there was a drive for the storage for my computer, and then there was a drive for my desktop stuff. Like, there was two drives, <laughs> and so things were all being fed to the desktop drive, and so, Caspian, can you explain it So better? you did run out of space, Susan, is what you're saying? But it, but once we transferred it to the hard yeah. to the hard drive, internal hard drive, then it it had yeah. plenty of space. If, if the OS drive fills up, your computer can't function anymore. Yeah. But if so your data drive fills up, it's drive. not a big deal. Because I think that's what's going on with new computers now, right? Is they have these two storage areas. Mm -hmm. One has very little room, and one has a lot of room. Sometimes that's not. Sometimes it's not. Yeah, uh, it depends. It, every time. But. but that might be what's happening to him because his computer's brand new. Well, another well, option. Like, another option to look at could be your page caching may not be large enough for whatever you're doing on your system. Well, I'll try to change that. I tried to change it on the other computer that I had, and it boy, it did not work. Anyway. Uh, it, it can be it can be risky if you you know if you change it to something that the system thinks is an uncomfortable number. Yeah, I I saw the formula somewhere and there, there, yeah, there's a couple other things I can mention when we're in the room together later, Vincent. Sure. Okay. Thank you for your help. I know that somebody would have a clue. Oh, Terry, now I see your kitty. <laughs> if you talk politics, you get no pie. <laughs> oh, that's funny. oh, yeah. Everybody's I, talking I just about posted a link pie. To the, the, where I got that from. There's a bunch we, of... Do we have been, anybody for announcements? I so, haven't brought us back from our break yet. I just have bad news. One of my friends died. That's it. Oh. 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 He, was, he was named Jack Scala. Oh, yeah, he's I saw famous. That on He's famous because Billy Joel wrote a song about him. It's a song called Captain Jack from the Piano Man album. So why is he why why is he famous? Because Billy Joel wrote a song about him. The question is why did Billy Joel write a song about him really? Because he grew up in Billy's neighborhood and he was uh, a well-known drug dealer in the set late 60s and uh, supplied drugs to all the bands. He was friends with all these people and Billy just wrote a song about him. If you're interested, Captain Jack will get you high tonight. That's the that's the part of the song, yeah. But then, so he died a couple of days ago. Why? Was he still so a drug dealer? A very long time, in other words. No, he was a drug dealer before he went into Vietnam. Oh, okay. And then he went to Vietnam, and he was a tunnel rat, and had this whole story. He had oh, wow. In the tunnels, and then uh, when he came out, he used to hang around at Studio Fifty Four and supply drugs to some of the people there. And then he got busted in the early 80s and came sober and non-drug, uh, no more drug dealing. And he worked for Clico and then did a lot of in, uh, inventing of video games for the Clico oh, company. Cool. Smart guy. Okay, so we're back. I'm back. You guys are all back? We're back. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this picture. 
that I just took a Paula. You can see her. Can you see that, you guys? <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Got two cats piled on her. Yeah. Oh, boy. This one's you might, you might want to wax that lip there. There's a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Wow. But that's what's going on right here is that she's got, she's got, awesome. this one's like looking, Hamilton's looking like, where can I sit? Where is, <laughs> there looks like a little spot right here on her tummy. Aww. That's why she only shows the top of her head in the other pictures. She's right. covered in cats. She's always Aww. covered in cats. <laughs> that is Paula covered in cats. So that was, that was that news. Um, the second <laughs> thing we wanted to make sure we tell you is that I have no idea. Um, I was supposed to be doing an interview with Abhijit from um, the Be Reasonable. No, what is this podcast called? Rationable. Be Rationable. Be Rationable. Yeah. To, um, Rob's done this podcast too, but each time, the first time I was going to do it was Tuesday. And then I got this yeah. invite to go have lunch with Dawkins. And so I <laughs> like said, I do. and I said, well, God, should I, should I cancel Abhijit or should I go have lunch with Dawkins? And I went to have lunch with Dawkins. And then um, then it was supposed to be today for my interview with Abhijit. And that didn't work. He's got a migraine. And so we've made it for Sunday. <laughs> but Dawkins says hello. And um, we'll have to him all of us? play trivia with us. Yeah, he's in Hawaii right now. Uh -huh. So it was really weird talking to him. We, I was sat with him for two and a half hours. It was just five of us. Dawkins, myself, um, and three other people. I don't know what their names are. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Rick Thomas from GSOW. He's the one invited me. So so we sat outside and talked. It was really surreal, guys. Um, at one point towards the end of the day, um, two students came up and they were so nervous. And they saw, because we were sitting outside and they came by and said, uh, Professor, Mr. Dawkins, could we... Can we please take a picture with you? And Dawkins was so charming and friendly the whole time. And then when these kids came up, he was like, oh, okay. He just got so awkward and like stiff. And the kids were just thrilled. They were students, college students. And they're like, are you here at Stanford? Or I mean, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just having lunch. And I'm going to do a book signing it, you know, after this. And they took the picture with them and then they walked away. And I sat, Dawkins is like right here in front of me. And I said, so Richard, was that like, does it get old? He goes, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so strange because it was a donor lunch and I got invited, not because I have any money, but because I got invited by a person who's a donor, CFI donor. Mm -hmm. And um, he says, um, and it was just odd, you know, because there was just so much wealth in our community and I'm not like privy to all this stuff but they're going from one donor to another to another donor and then Lawrence Krauss is back you guys I saw a picture of him somewhere <sighs> and I thought oh my god he's back yeah so so Dawkins I, he said he'd just been to Phoenix I'm like what were you doing in Phoenix and okay for those of you who don't know Lawrence Krauss is a brilliant what is he this, wait, yeah. this is this is Physics. physics professor yeah so he's really brilliant but he had a, a some problems with being too handsy back in the day like about Ooh. five years ago and so he was kind of drummed out of the skeptic community and the science community he lost all his fellowships and all sorts of stuff he was fired from his job at the university of arizona and so dawkins tells me he's he made a conference in arizona and he did these talks and i'm like oh that's great i'm not sure if you're recording this and he said, uh, I said, you know, Doc, um, I said, Krauss is really brilliant. It's really such a shame to see him gone because he's really a great explainer of things. He's like a Neil deGrasse Tyson as far as explaining stuff. And I said, I've never understood gravitational waves. And then I listened to him give a talk and I was like, oh my God, he just explained it to me and I got it, you know? And so he says, yeah, he's trying to rehabilitate his career. And then I said to Dawkins, I said, you know, Back in the day when that happened with Krauss, we were all like, oh my God, that's awful. And then look what we what was elected. And we've just put four years of, I said, what it's like a hold your beer kind of moment, you know? <laughs> Lawrence Krauss is bad, hold my beer. <laughs> Let's see how bad it can get. Um, you know, we put up with people grabbing people's, you know what. So 
Dawkins thought that was very funny. He says, <laughs> what happened to Al Franken? That's what Al I was Franken. thinking of Al Franken. Yeah, exactly. He didn't yeah. actually grab anything. We thought that was so right. offensive. And then yeah. here comes, let's, let's, let me show you how offensive I can get, yeah. you know, kind of uh, things. So Al, and it ain't over. Was wrong. It, yeah. They're predicting he's going to make a comeback. Can you imagine I hope that? So. I'm going to yeah. see him live in Monterey on December 10th. Oh, Al Franken? Or cool. oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, cool. So it was a really odd moment being with these people and talking to Dawkins about all the billionaires, apparently, that are associated with our community. I was shocked, you know, all the world out there. Not that they're getting billions of dollars, but just, it was just odd. It was really odd, mm -hmm. you guys. A world I'm not used to, but anyway. So is there anything else we need to talk about? Carl, Kyle Polish is in here. I did listen to his latest uh, podcast. It was about... Oh, it's about data and numbers. No, yeah, I know it was, but it was about, um, God, it's been days since I listened to it. I thought his podcast was about dating skeptics. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, anyway, I can't remember, but it was um, out of my head. Uh, Adrian, you know what's going on in the next skeptic zone? My I'm final guessing. interviews. Yeah, yeah. Some I think there's another yeah, round of Rob interviews for sure. And I'm pretty sure that he's interviewed Claire Klingenberg from the European Skeptics and probably a few uh was it Pontus and who's the other one? There's the three. And for me? Annika. Annika. And I think maybe Andres. Andras, yeah. yeah. Andras and Andras, Pontus yeah. from Jackass. No, Andras <laughs> and Annika are both GSOW, um, GSOW editors. I'm so proud of the ESP being being asked to go to Australia and, and like headline the conference. That's so yeah. exciting for them. They so badly deserve it. So you think yeah, that's so what it is? Yeah, they just, yeah, I think so because I, we saw pictures of uh, Claire being interviewed in the Skeptic Zone uh, studio, right? The studio. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure she'll be on at least. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has something else about their little activities. They just left today. So he's, um, and he's working today, I think, too. Dr. Carl, I think they interviewed him as well. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Rob, there's still more. So Rob, can you talk just briefly about what the interviews you've done and that last week had this trivia group on the Skeptic Zone? Um, well, okay, so let me put the two links in the chat. The first one is for my page with all my Skeptic Zone interviews. And the, so I've done four so far that were published this year, and there's one more to come, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, and included in the ones is Carl and Carl with a K. Kyle yeah, and uh, Ramiro and uh, Adrian and Wendy. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, Giggly so. me. Yeah, there they're was all, a lot they're of great stuff. There. Thank you, you, you giggled more in, in the interview you, you did of me. Than, nice. than, yeah. And everybody we else. Just... So, so, and the, and the second thing is the article that got published in Skeptical Inquirer last week, which includes Carolyn, Faith, and Wendy. So, yeah, look that, look into that. Learn oh, a lot about them. Very good. And so, he, so you guys, we did a trivia last week, right? No, two weeks ago. We talking about at Psycon? Psycho? No, this group. Yeah. Yeah, we did one last we're week. We're in right now. We did it last week. We were the we were the Easter egg. That's right. I heard it. You all, you people we that were here yeah. last. Yeah, That's last crazy. trivia. Oh. You're part well, you're talking about on the skeptic zone. Yes. Yeah. Right. So if you listen to the skeptic zone and you go after the last, then there's a little Easter egg later on. Yeah, and don't pull an Adrian. Egg. And, and, and the last word went to Kevin. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Kevin got the last word in it. What did I say? Well, you'll have to listen. Oh, okay. There. It's a good episode. You'll like it. Yeah, there was some, there's been some really great stuff. And then here's the last up. Here's the last article I've done, and this is about small groups. And it's the Sacramento Skeptics. Um, so you might find this interesting, Carolyn. And then I talk I about the Seattle Skeptics. And all the all the little groups, and we're we really are working to get the groups together. And remember, I'm coming in December to December 18th to LA. 
Um, Rob, are you looking for those links? You said you're going to share two links. I did already. They're in the. Oh, I'm sorry. I sent oh. them to Carol. I'm sorry. I'll I re, I'll redirect. It was to. Sorry. Only, uh, oh, he's having a private conversation with Carolyn. Oh, okay. I, I was. Just saying. We were thank talking you. about Aragorn. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so anything thank else you. I need to know? Yeah. Um, My grandson. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Wendy. Oh, okay. My um. My daughter was aware of, you know, I, I told her the, the whole story about the um, conference in Las Vegas, SciCon, and my grandson lives in uh, New York, and he's, he came here to Los Angeles for Thanksgiving, and so he was helping me out to the car this, this evening um, when I was leaving her house to, to, um, to come back here to play trivia. And um, and he said, Alma, I heard you had a great experience at the conference in Las Vegas. <laughs> he was real interested in it because I, he, you know, he's busy. I don't tell him all my stuff that that I'm doing. And so I promised I would send him the links to all the stuff about the about my article and the conference. Oh my gosh, yeah. Cool. Tell him to play, tri tri play trivia with us. No, he's in New York. He, well, it's not that where he is. It's it's kind of like the age. He's interested in partying. He wants, you know, he he came, he can surf in New York if he wears a really thick wetsuit, a real warm wetsuit. But he was thrilled to come back and and surf in the Pacific again. To do surf, this. surf. You mean like surf. wave surfing? Mm -hmm. Or surf. Not <laughs> internet surfing, Rob. We're in California, Rob. I've never heard of anybody surfing in New York. I'm just saying. I don't know what that means. He told me he said it's like an hour and a half trip on the subway or something to get to the ocean from where no, he lives. No, maybe scuba. Are you talking about scuba? Surfing. There's no waves. People surf <laughs> waves. There's no <laughs> waves in New York. I don't know. I've, I've only seen People the, do surf on the east coast. Small island. I've never heard of this. Weird. And um, and what else is it? Been missing out. But he is kind of a job. He he ran the New York Marathon a couple of weeks ago. Oh, wow. So, but so I mean, like, it felt really good and different to me to have him interested in something that I did. And though I bumped my arm this afternoon, or this, yeah, the, just before we sat down to have our food. And I got a great big knot on it. And my other grandson is married to kind of a new age person. And she wanted to, she brought out a little jar of Arnica Montana to put on it. And I just, and I didn't want to start an argument. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter knew that that was just the, the inside, that that was just a very funny thing that mm -hmm. happened. Oh, funny. So no fights, you guys, at the Thanksgiving table. I hope today for anybody. Yeah, um, she should have. She should have known to smudge that. <laughs> you smudge. <laughs> use use uh, uh, incense. Get your witchcraft so. correct. I'm <laughs> done. There's nothing else, right? We're ready to start from round three with Carl. Right. Oh yep. no. Okay. So let me take it's films. Missions from Gail. Uh oh, I'm seeing something with movies. And let me give permissions to. Carl, okay, here Jenny's we go. Favorite category. Just keep in mind, Carl, that I'm on your team, and you guys well, are lead. And I'm that travel not movies. happen anymore. So time travel movies. movies. Given given the relatively small size of the teams tonight, this could be a challenging round, just because there's not enough people in each team to feed off of. But unfinished film franchises. These are franchises. Films that were supposed to have one or more sequels and that never got made. Ooh, clever background for that. Yeah. Oh, will will they some have had multiple films made, but not the full set? That is a possibility. Okay. <laughs> oh no. All right, who wants to mute? Who's the mutator? I like that name. The Terry's the mutator. Is Terry available? There we go. Okay. So uh, you're gonna have to bear with me. A These are some fairly verbose questions. Ooh, Rob. 
2013 movie based on a book by Orson Scott Card. A young man is recruited by the international military to lead the fight against the Formics, an insectoid alien race who had previously tried to invade Earth and inflicted heavy losses on humankind. Name the film or the franchise book series. Number two. 2014 to 2016 movie series. In a world divided by distinct factions based on virtues, Triss learns she's different and won't fit in. When she discovers a plot to destroy people like her, Triss and the mysterious four must find out what makes them dangerous before it's too late. Name the first film or the franchise book series. And as a note, the third book in the trilogy was split into two movies, but plans for the last theatrical film were abandoned in favor of the Star's network television film, which itself, for various reasons, was never made. Number three. In a parallel universe, young Lyra Feliqua journeys to the far north to save her best friend and other kidnapped children from a terrible experiments by a mysterious organization. The saga functions in part as a retelling and inversion of John Milton's epic Paradise Lost, with the author commending humanity for what Milton saw as its most tragic failing original sin. The saga has attracted controversy for its criticism of religion. Name the film or the franchise book series. It's right there on that shelf behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. This series is set in a fantasy realm of magical, mystical beasts and talking animals. It narrates the adventures of various children who play central roles in the unfolding history of the realm. In all but one story, the protagonists are all children from the real world who are magically transported to the realm where they sometimes are called upon to protect the realm from evil. The books span the entire history of the realm from its creation to its eventual destruction. Name the book or film series. That's on that shelf over there. <laughs> and if you thought that was a long description, here comes number five. The two primary characters in this saga are Elizabeth Salander, an antisocial or asocial com computer hacker with photographic memory and Mikhail Blomqvist, an investigative journalist and publisher of a magazine. The saga currently spans six books by two authors, Stieg Larsson and David Lagerkrans, and has been made into two different film series, one in Swedish and one in English, neither one of which covered all six books. The first chapter tells the story of Blomqvist's investigation to find out what, find out what happened to a girl from a wealthy family who disappeared 40 years pr prior. He recruits the help of Salander, a computer hacker. Name either the first film or the franchise book series. Number six, since we're not paying by the letter. The first of two movies in this series has appeared in all, at, in, in at least two prior Carl rounds. One where the, each answer was a movie or TV show that featured its cast or actor or actress who played the doctor in Doctor Who and one that was the first scary movies by dad, bad description round. Here's the actual question. There was a possibility of a third film with a title that would have been a logical progression from the first two movies, but problems with rights issues and various parties not speaking to each other has me in a rage that 15 years later, there is still no third movie. Name the first movie. Number seven, this 1982 science fiction movie didn't do well enough to garner a sequel, but it achieved enough of a cult following over the next two decades that a sequel did eventually get made in 2010, which of course didn't do well enough to justify a third film. If we're lucky, this film's legacy will be to produce a third movie in 2038 when the star of the first film will be 89. And that actor was an answer in my name as complete sentences round. Name the first film. Eight. The Aubrey 
Maturin series of 20 completed nautical historical novels by English author Patrick O'Brien set during the Napoleonic Wars yielded just one motion picture that while widely acclaimed and nominated for 10 Academy Awards winning two, barely recouped its $150 million budget. Name the film. Not the book series or any of the books, name the film. Number nine. This 2017 movie lost the studio about $60 million and was deemed a box office flop. The sequel was canceled, but a new 2021 cut of the movie was extremely well received. And there is a possibility the sequel could still be made. Name the movie, either cut. And lastly, for number 10, Within two weeks of the release of this movie, based on the first book in the Edgar Rice Burroughs Mars-based Barsoom series, Disney took a $200 million write down on the film, ranking it among the biggest box office bombs of all time. No other chapters from the planned movie trilogy were ever made. And in October, 2014, Disney allowed the film rights to revert back, revert back to the Burroughs estate. Name the movie. Not the book, not the series, name the movie. And there you go, here's your 10 questions. Excellent questions. Okay, so there's our rooms. Uh, I'm not going to join yet, so I can still see. Open the all rooms, so I can see the questions. Because if Caspian, I join the room, you're I in room. I won't see the questions. Uno, please. One. Anybody else? I got to assign. No, I guess not. Yeah. I have one free. Do you? Cool. Yeah. So number five. Number five, oops, where are we? Oh, hey, Susan. Girl, let's go with the dragon tattoo. Is yeah, go with the dra dragon tattoo. You guys don't go tattoo. in order? Yeah, but that's one of the only ones I know. Okay, number, number five one is Ender's Game. Yeah. Oh, you know that. Vincent, yeah, are you taking notes? I know the game is once in a while. Yes, I am. You should see it. It's really good. The book is incredible. The book is really, really good. Um, okay, number two is... Paula? Well, the, the character Tris, I'm trying to remember. I don't know for sure. I think hopefully someone else will get that one. I don't know too. Three is Golden Compass. Three is Golden Compass. Incredible books. They're written, they're written because of question four. <laughs> Pullman wrote them. Excellent books. Movies were beautiful, four. but they didn't finish the series. And number four is Chronicles of Narnia. Prince Caspian. Mm-hmm. And then five is the girl with the dragon cat too, but I didn't that's know it. that Paul I knew that one. Yep. Okay, and that's all. Is that all we have? Um, I had a question for seven because my initial thing would be Blade Runner, but the uh Sequel came out long after 2010, so that can't be it. So six, what do you guys have for six? What do you think for six? Is it some David Tennant movie or something? It's Vincent and Jamie. Um, let's see. The only, there's only two people in this group is Jamie. There's only, we only have two. Well, I know number eight is a uh, master and commander. Oh, that's good. I never saw that. I enjoyed it. And for number 10, is that Tarzan? Oh. Is Edgar Rice, that's what, isn't, didn't, wasn't Edward Rice Burroughs the, the author of Tarzan? Carter. That's all it was, one name. Carter? Is it John, or is it John? So that's what I'm or guessing. Is it John Carter? Didn't I know his name was first John? I know I know what number ten is. Carter. Carter. What movie is that? Oh, that's, that's something else. That was the Disney one. They didn't name it Barsoon. They named it John Carter, I believe. Never Carter is the name. 
if I remember correctly. Wait, wait, okay, let me look at the question again. What year did that come 10. Oh, okay. 2014. 2014. Okay. Yeah. I never okay, heard so of you're saying John Carter? Because I kind of remember yeah. Night Owls. We're still going to uh, work on some stuff for tomorrow. I'm going to be up at 8.30. Oh. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I know, but what are you going to work on tonight? I wanted to do the, I'd like to get the cranberries done. We're, we're, we're going to rub that bird down? down. No, no, I'm not going to do the bird. Okay, so oh. it's number nine. Okay. Uh, what was that movie that totally bombed? What was that called? Um, How are we doing? I know. Well, Paula and I got well, a few, and yeah. then this is this is what we have so far. Okay. I can't get all of it on the screen because, uh, well, right. questions are. You're supposed to put question yeah, very long four question. and question five, question three and four. You're supposed to reverse the order because four was Chronicles of Narnia, and then Golden Compass wanted to do something that was completely opposite of the. To make fun of the Chronicles of Narnia. Just saying. And Ender's I don't know Game, I loved that Ender's that Game. That loved, was uh, loved that or book. Or book. And the movie was interesting. But the book was so good. Golden Compass is excellent. Oh, he's gone. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what number seven would be because it, it, I would think Blade Runner because that came out in '82, but its sequel came out after 2010. That's pretty bad that number six we don't have. Whenever he, he said it, he said it's there. Oh, so you think, so number seven would be um, Blade Runner? I said, I thought that initially, but its sequel came out after 2010. So that can't be it. No, it, yeah, the sequel was not in 2010, no. Nope. Oh, I know another film that came out in 82, uh, um, um, Tron. When yeah, but the, out? yeah, but the sequel was after 2010. For Tron? Yeah. Do you know what year? Yeah, like very recent, 2017 or 2016, 2018, something, but it was very, very recent. They de-aged, um, what's his name? Forgot his name. And they did a horrible job of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's Tron. I think that, that sequel I mean, I can before the sequel to Blade Runner. I can put that down. So I would like to, unless someone can think of something else. I am pretty strongly in favor of Tron. Okay. Now, for six... I'm thinking so if you're wrong, actors. we'll just yell at you. Oh, she's okay. closing the rooms. You better hurry. Yeah, we don't have enough. We need more time. No, wait. It doesn't. They didn't close the rooms. Get, I, I can't had concentrate it. with you here on me. <laughs> the cats are annoying her. No, they didn't close the rooms. It was just sitting there in front, in front of me. Oh, okay. So number nine. It's this. I'll get rid of it. The first of the two movies in the series has appeared in the last two years. You know, when I think of, I would think of Matt Smith or David Tennant, first off. But there, you know, it could be any actor from Doctor Who, I guess.
Uh, what's her face? Gemma, Jenna. She was an answer in a Carl thing last time I played. She was a uh, his companion, Doctor Who's companion. And what film was she in? What was her name? Not Jenna Coleman. Jenna. Jenna Elfman? No. No. She's a she's a British actress. <laughs> Name might not, not be Jenna. I'm trying to think of a Doctor Who actress. Can you think of any Doctor Who performers that that, that might apply to? No. Doctor Who. Uh. I think we're stuck. Jenna, Col something Coleman. What was her name? Yeah, it was Jenna Coleman. She played the companion and then for one of Carl's questions, he had played a female version of this like uh, Marvel character. I don't know. Then at this stage of my life, I don't know a lot. <sighs> oh, it was the con it was the Constantine characters. I don't know what year that came out though. Never heard of it. That I was Keanu Reeves. Off, I just know that she was she's an actor and she was in the Doctor Who series. David Tennant. Um, I've seen him in several series after Doctor Who. I'm trying to think of movies, though. Is that the movie, Constantine? Uh, well, that's the character. Was it Sandman? I'm trying to think of anything that David Tennant was in that was a movie. I think I are we stuck? Uh that's the story of my life. <laughs> that's just the way it is. Okay, number nine. What's that terrible movie from 2017? I'm sorry, what? A horrible movie from 2017 when that was a flop. I'm trying to think of 2017. I was gonna say cats, but they never made a No, it was that was that was a because I saw that was the last movie I saw before uh, lockdown. <laughs> so that was that was in 2019. Yeah. It was 2019. Your last yeah. movie you watched was Cats before before. Oh, you poor lockdown. thing! I know it was oh, that's it was awful. Awesome. To get that tape, we we hate saw it. A bunch of people from work. We weren't going there to enjoy it. 
We refuse to enjoy this. <laughs> uh, Puzzle and a Thunderstorm guys, they actually went to see cats. And yep. one guy, I don't know whether he was serious or not, but there was a family that dressed up as cats. Uh -huh. Oh, there were people in the theater that were definitely fans that dressed up and that were crying in parts and like Jesus fuck. Yeah, and they oh. were and they were dancing, dancing with it, and they had uh, whole pictures and filming. They were actually like oh it was God. a whole production right in the theater kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, they were dancing and singing and right along with the songs. Spraying and peeing and well, almost. I'm not gonna see it. Which thing? It was yeah. cats. Was well, here's really one thing. Bad. I saw cats the musical as a as a high schooler, the group in New York, and I couldn't tell what the fuck was going on. It was I'm terrible. Sorry, it was being recorded, I couldn't tell what the hell was going on because. Different characters were singing different words at the same time. And when I saw the movie, I finally I finally figured out, oh, that's what they were doing as a contest. I had no idea what the the musical cats was about. A contest? No. Yeah. Oh, I can tell you, I can tell you what it was about. No, I did because I saw the film. But why yeah. oh, yeah. I had no idea what was going on because I had no idea what they were saying. Carl. Yeah. It sucked. So number nine. Yeah. Carl's here. Why can't I see Carl? He's not there. It's, yeah, he's here. Yeah. Oh, he's in room two. Oh. Yeah. One thing I <laughs> one movie I can remember from about that time period was because it got a lot of hype, but then you didn't hear anything about it. Was I don't know how much it lost though. Was a uh, Ghost in the Shell with Scarlett Johansson. Ghost. Ghost in the Shell. That, it got a lot of hype, but then you didn't right. hear anything about it. And I think that was a flop. Okay, here comes Carl. I don't know Carl. how much it was, though. Okay. Put us out of our misery, Carl. What do you mean? We haven't we haven't looked at all of them yet. Yes, we have. Oh, have we? Yes. Well, number number six. We don't have. It's taking forever. All right, well. We knew, him, about time knew to... what we knew, and then after that, it's just for struggling. Uh huh. Is well, that... I'm still looking right. at six, even though if you're not. I'm sorry, but nothing's coming to hit my mind. Yeah, well, we're, we're not you. We've got look at this. I'm bored already. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <laughs> my head's pretty empty anyway, so. Well, <laughs> I know the feeling. What do you That's do? It. It's like a math problem. They just get there, and I'm looking at it going, I don't know this. I don't, I'll never knew this. So a film, think of a title that would have been a logical progression from the first two movies. Of what? One minute warning? One minute to the one minute warning? Yes, so. Uh, Did you see that? <laughs> no, I saw it. That was funny. <laughs> Well, I hope my computer doesn't restart on me again. It usually doesn't do it a second time, but frustrating. I saved the document anyway, so oh good. No. Not very well, but did you take your computer just to a shop, see what they say? Repair shop? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, if I pay for it. Well, it is under warranty, but if oh. I take back, if I take it back to the place where I originally got it, um, Dell send it off to somewhere else, so I won't have the computer for a couple of weeks. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's it's so stupid the way they have it set up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job, team. Yeah, I think. I'm back. Paul is here. Paul and I are here. I never, I never left there.
Susan. Susan. Yes, Vincent. Recording. Recording. <laughs> 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 Are you going to try the ventriloquist thing? <laughs> that, I'm no good. I can't do it. That takes years of practice. Unless you're Edgar Bergen and you're a ventriloquist on the radio. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I can do that job. <laughs> hey, Adrian. What yes. is a scientist's favorite dog? <laughs> Hello. A lab. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. not even a dad joke. Uh, that is I a try. dad. No. Adrian, oh, it's impossible. It's like a stepdad joke. Did you uh, put down that last? Uh, I did. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Make him step up. Ready. But... Troy can't hear us. We're about as ready as we're us? ever going to be. Oh, you can hear us? Oh, I didn't see it. Headphones on. Okay. okay. I have a fast system. So number one. Sophisticated. Uh, Ender's Game. You could also say the Ender Saga or the Enderverse. Okay. Excellent books. Mm -hmm. Number two. Divergent. But not the Ender Shadow series, right? Oh, never heard of Divergent. <laughs> yes. Good book series. I Very thought. good. Like the movie still streaming on one of the streaming channels. So for, for number three, there are numerous answers I will accept. I'll take The Golden Compass, Northern yes. Lights, The Book of Dead Dust, Ghost or His Dark Materials. More oh, very his dark good materials. books. Yeah. His Dark Materials I really enjoyed. Oh, I didn't read to that one. Cloudy well, with really a know, Chance of Meatballs? That. Oh. <laughs> number four, of course, probably everyone got The Chronicles of Narnia. The Chronic uh, What Calls of Narnia. The only person here who has never read The Chronicles of Narnia is Caspian. No, I've never read and it. Me. I've never, never read, read it. I've never, never seen the movie. You haven't read this? No. I've never, yeah, I've never read, read it either. Caspian's never That's read the, the book he's been named after. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped reading at so. the silver chair. Number five. I will take The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo or the Millennium Series. They're supposedly great, aren't they? It's all good. I can't believe I actually got They are very good books. Way better than Mary. Really good books. I've never seen them, but everybody. Um, really good books. Them. Number six got mentioned in a previous trivia round of uh, actors who played the doctor in other movies when Chris Eccleston was in the movie oh. 28 Days Later. Oh. Oh. Woo I would, it, I which would was also been... in movies by Bad Descriptions where I said animal rights activists destroy the world in less than two fortnights. <laughs> oh, you, you got me because you recently had. I wouldn't have even gotten close. So the two, the two, the two, the two heavy clues yeah, there the were fifteen that. years later, and rage because it was the rage virus, which was also in uh, my fictitious mm. diseases. Oh. Yeah. oh, I didn't. I forgot all about that. I'm very, very self referential. <laughs> Never would have got that. Number seven. The a slight hint with the word legacy because the sequel to Tron. Yay! Oh, my God, Tron. I'm so proud of that Tron. Now, for eight, you I will not. Turkey tomorrow for that. I will not be a, a stickler on eight as I intended to be based on how I saw people answering. I will accept just Master and Commander, yes. even though the name of the film is Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Well, oh. And we oh, even God. said the full title, but we're all like, do we need the full title? We're like, nah. <laughs> so good thing you're taking it. Paula, I'm, Paula had I'm, that. I'm, it was a good film. What, I'm still mad about Mad, 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 Mad World. I had one too many mad. <laughs> too mad. Yeah, you got you got to chill out, Bob. It's okay. Yeah, Don't nine, that he's mad. mad. He's mad about either that. Justice League or Zack Snyder's Justice League. Woo -hoo. Woo. An immensely better cut of the film. Did anyone else see it at a drive-in? Uh, theater when they were a child? No. Nope. <laughs> Just a ten. For the last one, again, I will not be a stickler on 10 as I intended to be because the name of the movie is Just Yay. John Carter, but I will not also John accept Carter. John Carter of Mars. Vincent, good job, Vincent. Yay. Okay, yes. what was the answer to number nine? I knew it was right. that. Number nine was either Justice League or that's Zack it. Snyder's Justice League. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the... Oh. 
Yeah, the Snyder Cut was in 2021. Much better. Oh, okay. Got that. Yeah. Even with it being a four-hour long movie. And once again, the, if you're interested, the, the Word document containing this round is now in the chat for anyone who wants it. Very good. Yay. Yay. And the crowd goes wild. Yay. Think, I, I think there's much rejoicing. Well, considering which team we're here. Okay, so let's see. Team number three tired turkeys hoping for a pardon. Thanks to eight. Faith and Romero, we got eight. Woo. Nice. Good job. Okay, two full to eat pie. Seven. Okay, you guys are tied for the lead. Uh, we don't <laughs> have a name because we chose not to partake. Six. We've been very consistent. Yes, yeah. you. <laughs> okay, you're in the lead. Enjoy it while you have a moment. Check your cats before you fly. Uh, ten. Oh. Boom! Wow. <sighs> Carl you... wasn't on your team. How did you do that? That's the. Uh, it was a very team, <laughs> good team effort. Everything. Each of us That's... came up with a few. <sighs> All right. Wow. <sighs> Kevin, I'm oh. trying to include you. Shh. Thank you. All I, of, I actually, my actual awesome. team, all of Trump's books start at chapter 11. Seven. And they just yeah. lost the lead. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh dear. Well, we're still not doing too bad. I mean, dear it's the Carl the, will help them get more points next round. round you That's know. right. Wow. They'll be fine. What do we call that curse of the round? Call that. Carl curse. Category curse. Category curse. Hey, Category. hey, I have a co-host <laughs> right here, and I gave, I knew several of those. Okay, yeah. next Enders round. Games. Let's move it along Happy. so we may, maybe don't have Carolyn quit yet. No, wait a minute. Okay. Listen to the category. You okay. might like it. You might like okay. it. Okay. All right. Open, opening lines of literature. Stop it. Stop oh. it. Stop it. Okay. We're moving. We're moving from movies to literature. Okay. Wow. Ready to mute? Can we Ready make a mute. movie about that? So be okay. Three, Three, two, two one, one, mute. Okay. So I am going to give you the opening line or lines of a book, and you need to correctly identify the book. Simple. Number one. No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's and yet as mortal as his own. Number two. Not quite so wordy. Call me Ishmael. Number three. A little more wordy. His name was Gal Dornick, and he was just a country boy who had never been to Trantor before. That is not in real life. He had seen it many times on the Hyper video and occasionally in tremendous three-dimensional newscasts covering an imperial coronation or the opening of a galactic council. Number four, much shorter. Saturday, October 26th, 1991. Henry is 28, Claire is 20. And by the way, for each of these, if there was a, like a prelude or an interlude or something like that, I didn't count it. I just went with the first words of chapter one. Number five. A science of mind is a goal which has engrossed thousands of generations of man. Armies, dynasties, and whole civilizations have perished for the lack of it. Rome went to dust for want of it. China swims in blood for the need of it. And down in the arsenal is an atomic bomb. It's hopeful, nose full, armed in ignorance of it. No quest has been more relentlessly pursued or has been more violent. No primitive tribe, no matter how ignorant, has failed to recognize the problems as a problem, nor has it failed to bring forth at least an attempted formulation. Number six. Can you repeat that one, please? No. It's in the chat. Number six. <laughs> I'm pretty much fucked. That's my considered opinion. Fucked. Six days into what should be the greatest month of my life and has turned into a nightmare. I don't even know who'll read this. I guess someone will find it eventually, maybe a hundred years from now. Number seven. 
Number seven. Another wordy one. This world is very old and human beings are very young. Significant events in our personal lives are measured in years or less, our lifetimes and decades, our family genealogies and centuries, and all recorded history in millennia. But we have been preceded by an awesome vista of time, extending from prodigious periods into the past about which we know little, both because there are no written records and because we have real difficulty in grasping the immensity of the interval involved. Number eight. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Quote, whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in the world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Number nine, my wordiest one, sorry. Sooner or later, it was bound to happen. On June 30th, 1908, Moscow escaped destruction by three hours and 4,000 kilometers, a margin invisibly small by the standards of the universe. On February 12th, 1947, another Russian city had a still narrow escape when the second great meteorite of the 20th century detonated less than 400 kilometers from Vladivostok with an explosion rivaling that of the newly invented uranium bomb. In those days, there was nothing that men could do to protect themselves against the last random shots in a cosmic bombardment that had once scarred the face of the moon. And to make up for that, a fairly short one for number 10. What's two plus two? Something about the question irritates me. I'm tired. I drift back to sleep. A few minutes pass, and then I hear it again. What's two plus two? And that's it. Any questions? Rob, are these fiction or fiction, nonfiction, anything by literature? Do you mean fiction? I mean anything that is a work Written. of text. Yep. Oh, okay. And and they're all well known books. I mean, these are not books no one's heard of. So it could be fiction as well as nonfiction. Yeah, that's what these we just said. are really good. Oh, Robin's here. Robin's Hi, Robin. here. Somebody told her. Good. Put her She's on next. team five. Up next. I did. I just put her there. Okay, so the book. Um, I think it's Great Gatsby. Oh, I don't think it's that at all. All right, team. How you? No, which one? Number one. Number one is Moby. That's H. G. Wells. That's oh no, Mars. Right, number two. two is okay. Um, was two probably Moby Dick. Yeah, yeah two, Moby, I mean it is Moby uh, Dick. Sorry, that, that. We're not muted. If before I take off, yes. Um, two, I'm pretty sure is Moby Dick, and number six, I believe, is Mars. No, it's called the Martian. The Mar I mean, the Martian. Yeah. The Martian. Number six. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You think number six is is I'm the Martian? Sure. The Martian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah the Martian. Okay. I know it is. And three, I'm. A, um, Susan and I were talking, and we think it's from the Foundation, but we don't know a particular book. Okay, wait, let me go through these here a second. Series okay, series. number one. What did you think, Cindy? H.G. Wells. I think it's maybe the H.G. Wells book, but I forgot the night. It's it's what the radio play that um, yeah, War of the World. War of the World. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. I know, I know. It is. Is it Isaac Asimov? I think so. And so unless we can think of the thing foundation think foundation series. It could be just foundation, the first one. Could be. Could be. Well, he picked the most it's been a common book. Oh yeah, it's been ages. What do you guys think? Okay, and number four, any guesses? Uh Time Traveler's Wife. When they gave the names, then it kind of clicked in. Oh, oh. oh yes. I've never read yeah. it. Yep. Okay, number five, I think it's Dianetics. I so do I. I. Right. That's what I thought. Okay. Right away. Okay. Number six I is know. The Martian for sure. Yeah. Number seven is Yeah, 
Is it Cosmos? Oh, that's a good guess. That's something that he would. Come yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Carl Sagan. Because it, it was a book. Um, it was literature. I don't. That's know. why I'm glad somebody asked if it was nonfiction because that to yeah. me sounds Sagan, but uh, but I'm not. I don't know. We'll do it for now unless somebody comes do you think up with a better. Do you think it would be Cosmos or do you think it would be um, Demon, Demon Haunted World? World? I think it sounds more like well, Demon World than Cosmos. I can cheat. <laughs> I, I'm turning around and looking behind me too. but I'm looking. I'm looking over there, but. I can't open it up. I think it's probably Demon Haunted World because this doesn't sound like okay. a story. Yeah. Good thing you hang around here, Carolyn. Okay, number eight. I I have an idea. Does somebody have? It's but a crazy I have an idea. idea that's different than Susan's idea. Does anybody else have an idea? I have zero. So go ahead. Paula thinks it's The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby, and I think it is uh, that self help book that is um, really popular during the the how to sell stuff. Um, how to influence people? That one. How to make friends and influence oh, Carnegie. people. Yeah. Right. It's oh, like how to make Carnegie. friends and influence people. Yeah, like how that. to make friends and influence people is what I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah. okay. I don't yeah, know, but I Paula think it's a great Gatsby. Paula thinks it's a great Gatsby. Well, great Gatsby yeah. is that oh, so. the, the hero there became a millionaire. He wasn't one before. He became a millionaire from criminal activities. Okay, so he wasn't one before. I don't know. Sooner or later is beginning. I don't know number nine. Does anybody know number nine? Number nine. No. Number nine. Um, hmm. Hmm. Number eight, I don't know. So okay, number nine, I don't know. Ten is definitely Project Hell Mary. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. What was that? A Thank nonfiction you. book or what? No, that was a Andy Breer. Okay. Yeah, number ten. Yes, yeah. Yeah, same thing as the Martian. We yeah. we spent all, before you joined trivia, Cindy. We spent yeah. a ton of time talking about those two books. So a Hail Mary for number ten. Project Hail Mary. Project Hail Mary. Okay. And I don't know what sign. I really like the Martian. Yeah, I can't yeah. say that I really liked Project Hail Mary. Really? And that was a book of fiction or or. Science book of fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love The Martian. We read it um, for our sci-fi book club, and a lot of us said the same thing. We were looking so forward to it, and we were we were a little dif disappointed in it. Try? Did you try Artemis? Not yet, no. Okay, remember that meteorite happened in Russia in Siberia area? No, mm -hmm. Moscow. I said Moscow escaped it, but no. That That's not right. That. Not That's tonight. not right. Moscow. No, well, another Russian city still had near her escape. That's right. That that was the meteorite in Siberia. I'll be right back. I have to go take. Okay. Yeah. I can't imagine what this book would be. It's probably well known, but not to any of us. And it must be nonfiction. And number Sorry. eight. Yeah, I think it's. How to make friends and persuade people. I'm going to put that down. Okay. Um, feel free to uh, let me uh, berate you if oh. it's The Great Gatsby. It just doesn't sound right for Gatsby. Yeah, because he didn't start out rich. I mean, because it sounds like it dad is talking. Part of the book, not because you've got several characters in The Great Gatsby. Well, he's a narrator. Maybe that's it. No, no, the narrator is the the friend that comes. Ah, uh, okay, the friend that lives next. Well, okay, in so the movie you version, it was the friend that lives. Pick Paula or me, <laughs> or come up with your own option. Okay. But again, I've I've seen that quote, but I read the book probably in high school. I remember the movie more. And uh, what's his face from Law and Order? The Great Gatsby is a movie. Yeah, there's been several. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen it as a movie. I've only read the book. Oh yeah. Um. So have you read it? 
Wendy? What? Have you read The Great Gatsby? Yeah, but it was a long, long time ago. Long and it was, long a, uh, the narrator long. was not Gatsby or it was, it was a guy who, I think it was like a double date or something like that. And the, and um, he was, he was like a, he was narrating something that was happening. He was in getting involved with these very um, uh, interesting people. Yeah, in the latest movie version, I think the near, there was a friend who seemed, I seem to remember, lived next door to to the great Gatsby. And I was talking about the events going on next door or whatever. So, yeah, that's right. He, the great, the Gatsby wasn't the one there doing the narration. Number right. nine, it just doesn't sound like a very good intro to a book. I It feels like it might be nonfiction because it just feels like a textbook kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nonfiction, it should be yeah, it doesn't a sound scientific like, book, nonfiction yeah, scientific. I, I agree. It doesn't sound like it's the beginning of a, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Roger Moore da, 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 007 or anything like that. So it sounds like something I would be familiar with, but it's not ringing a bell. Is there was there a book about that? Because uh, Rob talks about that TV show to called Gutska or something like that. To Shot to the Moon or something like that. He talks about those shows all the time, and I would think that this would be from the moon to the from the so Earth to the Moon. Is nine the only thing we don't have something for? Yeah, nine's the only one. No. It makes me want to read the book, whatever it is. I yeah, I'm a I'm bored already reading those two sentences. And I try to watch <laughs> mine. I am not going to touch that book. Um, you can't grab me in the first. Really interested in, in what you were saying about Kraus earlier on, because he got caught in a in a time when that you know there was just that exaggerated attention. Mm -hmm. And me, you know, it's like sort of the 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 skeptic version of me too. Oh yeah, it was. And now Paul and I were talking about what he actually did. Think, yeah, he was a good and, friend of a uh, that certain friend that uh, the certain guy that owned Pedo Island. Well, the thing is, is that his friend. name got caught him. up with with. Um... Excuse me, you guys almost done? We we're just yeah. You might as well send us back. We're already. Okay. Um. With the what's his face? Um, what is his died. name? The died. Anyway, so we were trying to decide what do we actually know that really happened with Lawrence Krauss? What was he actually accused of? Because there was a lot of rumor. There but... was rumor even before anything happened because he was a he was a good friend of um, uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein. I don't know about good friend. He would defend him. Well, that makes him suspicious already. But there was a lot of people that were friends of his, and and Lawrence Krauss was just exactly the type that would have been friends with, with uh, no, but he liked, he liked them. Yeah. It appeared that there other people who were friends of Epstein were okay. participating in what he did, and some weren't. So that's the thing. I don't know. Is it, so I was telling Paula, what do we actually know, and what do we, and and that well, would be enough no to throw him to lose his to career. Accidentally kill himself. Well, we were saying that the worst I heard about Krauss, the worst was that he was trying to do a selfie, not a selfie. He was in a group photo with a bunch of people in Australia at a conference and he put his arm around a woman and he grabbed her breast. That is the worst I actually heard. Oh, wait, we're being recorded. Well, so. So. Nobody's going to. I'm just saying there. what that's what I heard. That's the worst I heard. We got 59 seconds. Did you ever hear anything worse? Wendy? No. That was, uh, I mean, that was supposedly factual that somebody saw and not just alluded we're to? We're supposed to go by, I mean, like, we're supposed to make decisions of going by with evidence, right? right. Yeah, and Paula and, says that he was on the and, island. Well, so were a lot of people. He was a brilliant man. Well, he is a brilliant man. Yeah, but, but just because you're brilliant doesn't mean you can't be a pervert. No, but Jeffrey Epstein surrounded himself with those kind of people. So he didn't necessarily have them involved in his. No, I'm just saying, I'm saying in general. More, but not while we're being recorded. I'm just saying in general, 
just because you're brilliant doesn't mean you're not a pervert. Period. Well, of course. Yeah. So that doesn't so because he's brilliant doesn't save them from no. the room. Okay. We're gonna go back to our room. Good job, team. We got answers. Okie dokie, artichokey. Rob, we think we did okay. Okay. Glad Carolyn hung, sure. hung, uh, hung around for that one. You guilted me, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, all but two of these I have in my bookcase, and I actually yeah, uh, we were, we were transcribed the text from them. Um, so, and one I used to have, but I don't have anymore. So anyway, um, here's, let's see, we're going to share the answers with a PowerPoint slide, and then I'll paste them all in. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so opening lines of literature. Number one is the War of the Worlds. Yay! Yay. Number two is Moby Dick. a very famous Moby Dick. I yeah. think most people got that one. Very fa famous he, he, opening he line. one gimme away. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I thought there were a few gimmies in there, but maybe I'm wrong. I, uh, I level five whale. Number three yes, is yes, Foundation, yes. and there's my autographed copy hey. by Isaac Azamo. Wow. I knew yeah. it was Foundation. That's hey. cool. That's very cool. Yeah. That's got to be real impressive. Number four, that every chapter in that book opens that way with the date and the different ages of the time traveler and the person who's in regular time, which is Claire. Good so, job, Aaron. The very time good. traveler's wife. Very good team. Then, oh, yes, Paula. Yeah. somebody I got that. Yeah, right. thanks, Paula. <laughs> no, I agreed with you before we went back. Oh, well, she was arguing yeah. with me. I'm allowed. Yeah. I thought that's what we said. You could almost tell yeah, it was a cult, a cult, a cult leader yeah. just by just by reading how he's yeah, writing. Yeah, it totally makes like, sense now. Yeah, yeah. Susan, I'm, Paula knows more than anybody about about. Scientology. I haven't, I, but I haven't read Dianetics. No, God, do it. Oh my God. See, I, I would never have read it. So Number six, the first of the two Andy Weir novels. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good idea, cool. team. Number seven is the Dragons of Eden. Yes. Oh, well, but we had we that. had we had Cosmos though. And that, that's actually a copy of my Sorry, book. Team. I have that copy. That's not the typical cover, but that's the cover I, I got. Demon Haunted World. That's the same that's copy what we had. Oh, Demon Haunted yeah. World. So we got the right author. What count again? <laughs> yes. Oh, good. Gatsby. Last minute guess on that one. Oh, that was a guess. Yeah. This is this is the only one I never had and, and never read at all. Great so. job, team. I thought we picked it. Rendezvous oh, with Rob. Uh, okay. I don't know if anyone got that. So this starts. This starts Is that about ramen, ramen noodles? No. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, this like starts ramen. with this. Um, the next thing was about Rome is destroyed by an asteroid burst, and World War Three almost starts because people don't know it's an <laughs> asteroid, right? And so because of that, uh, the globe puts up this system to look for incoming asteroids and comets. And therefore, it finds an interstellar spacecraft passing through the solar system in time to make a ship to rendezvous with it. So that's what it's about. And it was actually a long series. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and you. finally, oh, yes. many people here have read this. I project. knew you would read this. Mm -hmm. Great. I book. like that we got two of his books on here. Yeah. Uh, been, what that was you fun. Think about Dragons of Eden? Well, Rob was saying that that's not the usual cover. And I was saying that's exactly the cover that I have. Oh, that's oh. funny. Very good. Okay. Very good. Of course. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Take care. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Carolyn. Nice to you, Carolyn. Bye, okay, Carolyn. Bye. bye. Okay. So we are, let's see what's happened with these scores. Three tired turkeys hoping for a pardon. Seven. Uh, two foldy pie. Five. You lost. You lost it. Oh, no. Okay. We don't have a name because we chose not to partake, which is a eight. eight. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. All of Trump's books start at chapter 11. Eight. Very good. 30. And check your cats before you fly. Seven. Our, our lovely number that we like to get this time. Oh, look at <laughs> Oh, we're still oh. a point by one point. <laughs>
Oh, good job, good, team. Good, good job, Robin. Rob, Robin. <laughs> I was just trying to say hello to Robin in my mind. Two birds at one stone. She's uh -huh. here. She is. Where are you at, Robin? It's your. It's your. Um, oh, yeah. I'm at my sister's house. Hi, Robin's <laughs> sister. <laughs> They're saying hi, Robin. So, oh, they can't. She can't hear you. I'm on my earphones. So okay, we're waving at her. Hi, Robin. Thanks for showing up. Hello. To the bonus. Hello. Nice. This was kind of a last minute trip for me. So. So the cat goes. What kind of pie did Robin's sister make for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Ten different Model types. Rules. Name name ten. Model we rules. we had a pecan pie my sister made and pumpkin pie that I made. Well, don't give the answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my God. So okay. Susan here, yeah. and everyone else anyway. Here, here's the answers for my part. Oh, all right. Thank, thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. That I'd was like awesome. To category. Copy that. Good one, Rob. Really good. Uh, yeah. Good that you did. Yeah, that was a that was fun round. We get some yeah. movies and TVs um, after a while. Before Robin begins. Can you give me the correct pronunciation of the author of Foundation, his last name? No. Asimov. 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 Okay, just want to check because I want to see if I've been mispronouncing. I, I, when I was in college, we had to take speech as a course. And not only to teach you to talk in front of groups, but how to pronounce words properly. And I tried to get out of the course, which you were allowed to do, by taking an entry and reading it to a professor. And I took something from Azimov and I said his name what? wrong and they made me take the course. <laughs> I've never heard it pronounced. Like you, yeah, I had never heard it name? pronounced. I just read it. How am I supposed How to did know? you say his name right now? I, I, Azimov. Azimov? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, I, said, I, said, I, said, I, said it, I said it wrong. It's Azimov. But you're and, a good speaker, Rob. Well, well, at the time, I might, might not have been. But anyway, I said, a, I said chasm instead of chasm, too, because that was in the part I read. And yeah. this is, I never will forget, I think, what the professor said. You've heard of speech from the gutter. You speak like the cracks in the gutter. <laughs> but, wow. but remember to be kind and forgiving because when people mispronounce a word, it's often because they've never heard it spoken, but they have read it. Read yeah. it. So yeah. Yeah. It can indicate being well read, yeah. intelligence. It has nothing to do with your intelligence or anything like that. So I personally think it was a conflict of interest situation because the guy I was reading for wanted to fill his class up. So yeah. you know, that's that's why I took it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. For the chasm between him and the <laughs> so, so it was probably a very yes. easy class then, right, Rob? Or was it just kind of phone that thing in? It was so no. We had to no. take we had to take a speech class. And Actually, call. I didn't take it now that I remember. I signed up for it because he made me, but then I dropped it right before it started, so I didn't get charged. And I said, Well, you have to take it before you graduate. And then I went three years later when I was a senior, about to be a senior, and I took this again and I read something wow. else to a different person. And he said, oh, you're great. <laughs> well, like, oh, I learned you a lot in those three years, Rob. <laughs> okay, Robin, Robin. Okay. You ready for me? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Bonus. I am looking at a link from US News and World Report. I will put the link in the chat when it's time to go over the answers. But the link is the chart below shows the 10 national universities. This is the United States. The 10 national universities with the largest endowments at the conclusion of fiscal year 2021. Endowments were examined by campus not across public university systems and are not used as a factor in the overall rankings. Unranked schools, which did not meet certain criteria required by US News to be numerically ranked were not considered for this report. So basically this is the 10 universities in the United States that have the largest endowments. What and, year? Huh? At, what the, year? End of, at the end of 2021. Got it. Send us to our school rooms. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do I do? The to office. Do that? Send us to our universities. How do you spell endowments? <clears throat> Thank you. So these are these are mainly the wealthy. So there's going to be a lot of Ivy Leagues in here. Hey. Hey. hey how are you? Hello. So I first vote Harvard, Yale, for sure. Cornell. 
No, I don't think Cornell. Has Cornell, your school, you don't think you Cornell has one of the largest endowments? Okay. What if we just write them 10. down and we don't start deducting them until we have okay. ten? Ten universities, the largest endowments. So I, some of them, I have one, two, Princeton. three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven written yet. How about some of the uh, black colleges? I have I have Harvard, Cornell, Stanford, Yale, Princeton, MIT, and USC, and Berkeley. I now have Berkeley. I would add Notre Dame as Notre Dame as one of the options. You don't great. think some of these historical black colleges would be in tw by twenty twenty one be highly funded? You're Part talking a million down dollar endowment. Duke, 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 Earl, 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 Duke, Earl. Yeah. Did you get I mean, Brown? This is being recorded. Oh, Brown. Yeah, yeah. Add Brown. 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 Who's who's writing these down? You. I don't know. All you of are. my fingers are up here. You are. I'm Karen. trying to. I'm trying to do the game that must not be talked about. What's that? So, Oh, oh, the W. Oh, one. she's it'll talking trigger, about it'll trigger it'll trigger yeah. Okay. I think I think the That's back the east w. ones, don't you think the back east oh, ones have the, more because the of the old money and stuff like that? Yeah. 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 University? No. What Romero? You have well, you have oh. Cornell, you have old Cornell, Miss. Yale, Harvard, Dartmouth, Dartmouth, Penn, U Penn. Or yeah, Penn, maybe. Yeah, they um, uh, rice? No, rice. You. Um, Beans. <laughs> you have... 13. I have 13 on this list. And Bob, where are you? I, I Counting his chickens. Okay. I turned the light. I turned our light off downstairs. I don't okay. have it. Like so Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Brown. So I should I... take off USC and Berkeley, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think that they can. I would. Things. I don't I think the Gamecocks have. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you want oh, to hear USC? People? Are you talking about University of South Carolina or University Southern of Southern California? California? Southern California. Okay. Do you want to hear the eleven that are on here yeah. without USC and Berkeley? Yeah. U U Penn, uh -huh. Harvard, Cornell, Stanford, Dartmouth, Dartmouth, Yale. Princeton, MIT, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, U, uh, Duke, and Brown. And you said and Susan said that we should put a historically black college. I don't think that they would be able to compete endowment wise. Because they're not gonna they're also not gonna cost as much. There are eleven here. Is there, would someone like to suggest one to remove? And we can also think of new ones. Brown, probably. Brown or Dartmouth, I think. Yeah. What about Purdue? No. What about Cornell? Rutgers. Well, Cornell's Rutgers. already on there. How big is Rutgers? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that Cornell wouldn't be there. Cornell has over a billion dollar endowment. Why do I know this? Because of the mailers we get from them to donate. My feeling would be you already got enough money. You don't need mine. It's like, okay, what's what's well, about he's you? a Cornell alumnus, so what, they send us stuff all the what's time. What's about UPenn? What's what's the deal with UPenn? Penn University, Penn, Penn, Penn is a Ivy. They might have lost a lot though after yeah. that. Guy sent us in Warden College of Business. <laughs> <laughs> what about Wellesley? Because this is 2021. So I don't think about Wellesley or William and Mary. So should uh, we take off UPenn and put I would I what would, about I would put Wellesley. It's a female college. They would okay, crossing out UPenn and I'm putting yeah. Wellesley and we still have a woman. I, I don't think Wellesley would be able to you do would keep UPenn over Wellesley. Um um, I think so. Yeah. Paula's trying to say something. Or I'm just trying to say I don't think Wellesley would be on this list. Okay. No, I think Purdue would be. Purdue or UPenn. Purdue. Purdue. 
U pen back. U pen. You would say over U pen, and I would. They have a pretty. I would say you keep U pen on there. Really? After all yeah, the yeah, because of their football. Okay, I I have a suggestion. Let's talk about the ones we have high agreement on and see where the ones we want to discuss are on. How about this? Okay. good idea? That was really awkwardly said. Um, no, I was going to get what you mean. Harvard? Yeah. Do we anyone? Yes. Does anyone object to Harvard? No. 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 Okay. Does anybody object to Stanford? No. No. Does anyone object to Cornell? No. No. Okay. I don't know. Does anyone I object? object I have no idea. Does anyone object to Yale? No. No. Does anyone object to Princeton? I don't. Does anyone? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, no, uh, Notre Dame. I feel, mm -hmm. I, I feel strongly about that, but I, again, I don't know. Do you I feel strongly about States. objecting? To keep it, right? Do, do you object to Notre Dame? She went away. Okay. Uh, uh, MIT. I would probably say MIT. I don't know. Okay, so let's put that as a question mark. Let's put MIT's MIT. He's got a lot yeah. of people. Wait, wait. Let's, let's not. How about if we don't? I'm, I'm, I'm saying a question wait, and I want to hear information. So, how about, okay, we question that. So now we're figuring out which ones we have high agreement on. Then we can come back and discuss, right? Because okay. there may be 10 for which we have high agreement. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're at six now. Duke? Mm -hmm. I would keep Duke on there. Anyone oh, yeah. Anyone object to Duke? Anyone nope. object to Brown? Brown. It might be a little small. Okay, great. So we, we were going to put a box around that. Anyone object to uh, Dartmouth? Me. Okay. Yes, good. Anyone object to uh, UPenn? I do. I do. I, do. I, do. I would keep UPenn over okay. Dartmouth simply and because then, of that. And then Purdue. Anyone object to Purdue? Object. Okay, so we have high agreement on seven. The ones <laughs> that we have here, and we could add more if you want, are Dartmouth, MIT, UPenn, Purdue, and Brown. So those five. And we need to pick three from those five or? Or think of more. I would keep UPenn because of their football program. And then someone suggested that Sandowski screwed, screwed them. That's what I was Sandusky. thinking. All that controversy? <laughs> Sandusky. Yeah. Sandusky. Joe yes and no. I mean, that was that was almost like 10 years ago. What's your concern with Dartmouth, Ramiro? They're small. Okay. What if we do away with Dartmouth? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Do away with Dartmouth. <laughs> Sounds Brown, MIT, Purdue, and UPenn. What's up with Purdue? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it just doesn't seem like they would be uh, at the top 10. But I don't have like hard data. <laughs> oh, who objected to MIT? Hey. Well, hey. You said we're going to say something about them. Why they have a bigger endowment. I mean, I, I would guess that they they would be one of the top. Because, Robin, we just have to pick the top how many? Ten. Ten. Yeah. ten. Top okay. ten. Top ten. So what if we put MIT, would you, would you object to MIT going into our list? It would be number eight. No. Okay. If it's number eight, then we have Brown, Purdue, and you pen or new ideas. Put you pen on there. I don't think Sandusky did lasting damage. Okay. How do you how do you feel about that, Terry? That's okay. I can go with that because I know that people it may have knocked it down from like one of the top ones down to the right, right. And and are we district and are we have we decided that we're not going to consider Susan's idea that there could be a 
predominantly uh, black university that is getting like a lot of money, you know, to support if would, would the but idea which, be because it'd be focused on one university or two universities, Susan? I don't know. What I just Hampton, like Hampton College, is Hampton College. Them these days. Moorhead. Moorhead would be the only one. But even Hampton. You mean Morehouse? Morehouse, Morehouse sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't I just don't think that they could compete with those. I don't think. Yeah, that, yeah I don't think that they too. would have that huge that they could compete to be in the top ten. So, do you want to pick between Brown and Purdue? I don't know anything about either one of them. I mean, Avi went. I, to Purdue. I wouldn't be able to tell you what state these are in. <laughs> I, I Avi be, was at Purdue. We need him here. Uh, I, I would. I don't even know where that is. Is that Rhode Island? Yeah. You want to guess rice? I've never heard of fucking <laughs> Well, no. Bob, Bob, what about awful, Georgetown? Bob, you're awful quiet. You yeah, don't know about these. I, I have no. I have no idea. This is. It, it, it's. I'm gonna uh, go brush my teeth and then I'm get to bed. Did she also say that most of these were private universities? She didn't specify. Okay, did somebody want to read the instructions? I don't know. They she said national. What does that mean? National university. Seeing people that are in the U.S. U.S. university. Oh, okay. I thought it meant like nationwide. I'm like, what does that mean? Clearly, I didn't go to one of these places. He didn't even go to I could see the. Hey, I guess just leave Purdue. Okay, but that makes eleven. Oh, what? Well, I thought we didn't have. We needed a tenth one. No. We have Harvard, Stanford, Cornell, Yale, Princeton, Notre Dame, Duke, MIT, UPenn, and Brown. So Purdue was kicked to the sand. Okay, then that's fine. I thought we had that's to pick a it Leave it the way we had to. We're overthinking it. Okay. It's probably the university. Harvard, yeah. Stanford, Cornell, Denver, Yale, Georgia. Princeton, Notre Dame, Duke. Good you job, team. And Brown. Robin, I have a quick question before we get back. You there? Yes. I was on Facebook, uh, this focus on the family, the blood is on your hands, five lives taken. Is that a reference to the shooting in Colorado? Yes. Focus on the family is a super right wing um, uh, religious group. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's like a, it's like a, holier than thou force our views on everybody um thing they're based in colorado springs oh they're, they're based, based in colorado springs okay yeah, there's a guy funny. named it's called dr james dobson he right. right. yeah. used to be used yeah. to be in california, Southern california. an interesting story we yeah. got as a wedding present focus on the family dr james dobson Huh. How to make a, a, a have how to have a successful marriage? How nice <laughs> on tape, and we listened to it on our honeymoon driving down to the Oregon wow. coast. I hope you had a good laugh. Oh my god, we laughed. I can so imagine. Hard. <laughs> it worked. It was, it was bad. It worked. You know, it was so yeah. Well, no, we didn't follow it. <laughs> no. Are you going to be an obedient wife? No, but that's why you were married. To be an obedient wife. Are you still yeah. friends with the people who gave you that as a gift? So, Robin, uh, that I didn't know they were from Colorado Springs, which now that makes sense with your post. I didn't yeah, know there's. I didn't that, know this yeah. con connection. The thing with the Air Force Academy is like it was influenced by religion, but we still don't. Yeah. I still haven't heard the motive of the shooter. We've heard his name and his grandfather. Mm -hmm. no. no, I don't think we know the motive yeah. yet. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we know the motive either. Which one? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, there's been so many but, damn shootings in the last week. But one in Walmart talking, was, that was a crazy guy. Was crazy. Well, he got fired. And I think that was retaliation. No, he wasn't no, he fired. Was, he was still working there. He's still working there. He said that they said that he was starting to put tape over his cameras of his phone because oh. the government was um, watching him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he must have been, yeah, his mental illness must have gotten out of control. Maybe he stopped taking he his medication. A Colorado yeah, yeah, was a hate crime. Jeez. Okay, so yeah. go ahead. For sure. Okay, so 
Uh, let me put my little, put my link there. So there's the link with the answers, but I'll just read them. This is US News and World Report. And um, there's the, the usual suspects and then there's a couple surprises here. So oh, yeah. number one is Harvard with 53 plus billion dollars. Number two, Yale with 42 plus billion dollars. Number three, Stanford with 37 plus billion dollars. Number four, Princeton with 37 plus, 37 billion even. Uh, number five, MIT, 27 billion. Number six, University of Pennsylvania, 20 billion. Good job. Number seven, Notre Dame, 18 billion. Oh, shoot. Got that one. And here comes three surprises. Although I, I, one team, at least one team got this one. Texas A&M. Oh, we had and took her off. Almost 17 billion. University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, almost 17 billion. Wow. And here's the big surprise. I've never even heard of this place. Washington University <laughs> in St. Hey. Louis, Missouri. I know that. Sue, yeah. yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> I guess you would, Carl. Where is it? <laughs> Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, it's a it's it's on campus. as opposed to St. Louis in Washington. Yeah, weird. Yeah, Carl, exactly. Carl and Ben, did you get it? I yeah. got it. Carl. No. It's thermodynamics there. Thirteen billion seven hundred million dollars. You're gonna be kidding. That's how much money they raise. Okay. Big engineering there, school, big more? medical school. So wait, is this is that, this cumulative over their existence, or, or you, what is this? What are these their numbers? current endowment that they have. Yeah, what do they got right now available for their endowment? And Robin, to... did they okay. only list 10 or can you can we groan over the next three or four? Uh, this particular one just listed the 10. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah, I was uh, I was wondering where USC would stand on that list. Yeah. Oh, but that's yeah. a yeah, that's a state school. Yeah. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you yeah, could Google USC it. Is a private USC school. is totally it's private. Not, it's, USC it's is private. All right. super expensive. Okay, so before you know, we Robin, do I'm, I'm really glad you chose a category that had a surprise element that uh, favored an area. Carl is aware <laughs> of in particular. I appreciate that. Yeah, that I was, was helping was Carl win. Hello. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Ben's on another team, and Ben is also in St. Louis. So, <laughs> okay. All right. So, before I go to scores, I'm just going to remind you that December 1st is our next game. And I have Jamie, and I have the bonus for Rob, and that is all that is filled. So, I, I will do one. Quietly. Caspian's up. Okay. And I now promise we're... it won't be music. <laughs> and it won't be Black Sabbath. Not one specific band is the problem. <laughs> Adrian, is that you? Am I hearing you? You're hearing me, but I'm not going to. Oh, I guess I could do something. All right, Adrian's up. <laughs> okay. Who else? Are you full up then? Um, I need one. Well, if you can't find anyone who didn't do one this week, you can pencil me in, but obviously give pref preference to anyone else. Okay, so. I, th I think I saw Vincent itching at it. I, mean, I think I haven't done one in a while, so I can do one. Kevin, yeah, Kevin, can do it. Okay. Kevin. And you can bump me to the next. You were one. about to delegate me, were you? <laughs> I, I think the two Canadians. Let's go Canada. Let's go Canada. <laughs> well, if you do dele if you do delegate me, I'll go with Adrian, and we'll do two together. No, you can't do that. No, can't do that. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, ain't gonna happen. Not on yeah, my this watch. Is, this is not on my watch. <laughs> okay, scores, scores. Okay, so I'm just scores. filling in that. Um, scores. Who is it? And it's a category, right? That Carl I'm doing? Said, yeah. Okay. Carl said he'd do the. Okay. All right. So let's go over to the score. Thank you for volunteering or be, being volunteered. Now I have to oh, try and be as clever as okay, got it. Rob and those guys. What? <laughs> what was that? Did I hear my name? <laughs> Something that Carl won't be good at. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many goals has the Canadian soccer team scored? Okay, in? Aaron, I'll put you in 15. 
Just, about, just your luck, Adrian. He'll be on your team for that game. Zero. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here's where we stand right now on our heads. <laughs> We're outstanding in our field. We're not in the last. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> well, you didn't hear all the dad jokes that I did before you came in? Yeah. All right, so what are we going to do here? Let's go with two full to eat pie. Six. Okay, not enough. Three tired turkeys hoping for a pardon. Seven. Okay, that's good. We don't have a name because we chose not to partake. Five. Oh, tie. Six. Five. Okay, so we all of us books start at chapter 11. Eight. Ah, oh, shit. Do you Canadians know the reference to can, uh, chapter 11? Yes. Okay. Yes. Check your cats before you fly. Can they do it? Six. Six. Oh. 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 If you only would have had seven, we would have tied. Wow. Wait, wait, oh. And we had it on a list. In St. Louis. Wow. What? Did you not put the one from no, St. Louis? No, I, I didn't think of that one. Oh. I didn't realize that one was that high on the list. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Screw wow. We had one by Texas A&M, but we took it off our list. Close no, game. we had Texas A&M. We got credit oh. for that. Yay, yeah. okay. a drama filled. Yeah, because look at these two, how close they were, and then look how close these other words were. Mm. That's, mm. that's, that's good. That's a good wah, game. Wah. It's good. That, you know, the I never would have guessed Texas A&M in a million years. No, me neither. Yeah, we did. We had that we one. Had we had it. Like we John said, Hopkins. Nah, pick it off. We had Penn, yeah. too, and we took that one off. Our okay. Bye, Bye, Alan. Bye, Alan. Bye, Alan. Before you guys go, I've got, I've got something here. Paula got it for Mark. <laughs> It's a little. Oh, zero that's there. awesome. That's great. <laughs> that's so I'm going to play your guys' fortune. Okay. So oh. this is your, this is your fortune. So it's. Do we, guess, do, do we guess five? Is that the answer? Five? <laughs> this is a, this is a fortune. So listen up. Okay. Here we got a fortune from Zoltar. The smallest cookie is better than the grandest intention. Take it from me, the great Zoltar. Intending shall get you nowhere, but doing, yes, that will bring you much, much reward. Doing will bring you much, much reward. Oh, sounds like a fortune cookie. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna that go. That sounds like Star Wars. Humanity. Don't look don't. at it and say, "I want to be big." Yes, I was just. Yeah. Gonna yeah. <laughs> Good night. Good job. Good job, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving with Thanksgiving weekend. Susan. Hi, everybody. Susan, I have a question. Your 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 hand puppet. Yeah. Where did you get it? Uh, Seattle. It would have been good last week. But you know what? They have these all over. You can get all of them. I think Rachel has one very similar to that. It's in a different color, but it looks like that exact same. It it Cracker Barrel. Yeah, they're yeah. common. But I've always she has a couple different ones. She has a lot of fun with them. I think they're great for the screen. Hi, Robin. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank um, you. I'll see Cassian hey. and I will see Cindy. Well, looking for Enjoy your day after right? Thanksgiving. Rock Thanksgiving, clock. everybody. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Friday. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.